why on earth is Aiba and Tama a hot dog in the card that I've earned? What? Why? The genetic double helix of the ketchup and mustard going down? That's a neat touch. Happy, happy, happy Chikara. All right, I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't get it. Okay. I miss Aiba. I kind of miss Aiba too, although I do like Tama. I didn't think I was going to like Tama, and now I do. Tama has has all the personality instead of a shared dynamic of Aiba and Date. Yeah, that, that's very, that's a very good observation. That's very true, yeah. I like their dynamic a lot, and uh, I thought Date was a more interesting protag than, than Ryuki. Ryuki is just, uh, you, you went from having this, like, actual protagonist with, with character who, who wasn't just, like, fresh out of high school or whatever, which is very common in these kind of games that we play. Like, he has an established life, he has a backstory, like, he has a lot of likes and interests that come up a lot. Um, he's mouthy, he has a lot of character, you know, like, you might not, you might not think that it's a good character, but, you know, if you do, then you can vibe with it, whereas Ryuki is, is very, like, like, waffles down upon, very, very, like, player stand-in, and maybe there's gonna be more that's gonna come out out of that later, I don't know, but, like, even if it does come out later, right now it's pretty dull. What is he doing here? Oh, that, that, that was it. What? Ooh parts do you like? What? What's an ooh part? Crystal skull, Costa Rica son ball, pyramid eye tablet, mechanismo most ton. I don't I don't know what that is. Out of place artifact? Oh, it's an ooh part. Oop all art. Crystal skull. If you keep it, you'll get Kirsty. That's with all of them. All of them are like that. Wow, Mr. Date! You can lift this? That's Mizuki's. Huh? Oh, right. That's not that surprising. We did just see her in action. Are you ready, chat? Date, the hard drive was full again. I had to make space, so I deleted all your cuckoldry videos. First, I told you, those are husbandry videos. Second... Why? Why did you do that? They probably weren't husbandry videos, were they? Mm, nope. Looks like there's something inside. Magazines? There are a lot of them. <gasps> Mr. Date, those magazines in the speaker. Oh, oh, those. Your phone collection? Those are, uh, uh, academic journals I collect as a hobby. Why would you put them inside the speaker? Because they're expensive limited editions. What if a robber broke in and stole them, huh? Something's weird about her. That's Addo Rabbit. How do you know? Oh, uh, well... Because Mizuki is collecting the merch? No! Duh! Aww, look at her slippers! I hate slippers. Slippers are a waste of time. Ryuki, that's not a bra. It's just a lighting fixture. I know that! Oh, look at the cable running up there. That's why it's the ethernet cable through the house. A little too political. I just don't like, I don't like wearing socks either. I don't like having things on my feet. I don't know, maybe I've always just had bad slippers. Slippers to me are like, unnecessarily dangerous, like to operate stairs with slippers on. I, I just don't, I just don't see the point. Joe, are your feet out right now? I still have my socks on from taking the dogs out, yeah. If you have a really good pair of slippers that, that, that don't slip that much, then maybe I would be on board with them, I don't know. So that picture was without socks? Yeah, of course. If someone asks me for feet pics, and I'm saying the feet pics, like, well, you think I'm gonna be such a tease that I'm gonna put socks on? What's the point? I can already see the disappointment. I'm not gonna do that. Like, come on. I, ha I have some amount of, of honor and, and, uh, and politeness. Hey, don't I always tell you not to hang your clothes there? I don't want your old people smell getting on my stuff. I told you I can't help it. So what if I like oatmeal? Mr. Date, I don't think that's what she said. You hungry or something? Yes. Sorry, but there's only a can of beer and some Cleone in there. Why Cleone? I keep them as pets. About debt collectors. Wait, Mr. Ryuki. Not in front of Shoma. Okay, we can talk about it here. Why are you bringing this up now? I was just a bit curious as to why you took on so much debt. Is it related to women by chance? What? For example, Maybe you're addicted to cabaret clubs. What's that? <laughs> I thought I heard something. Couldn't just ignore it. How do you 
have such good hearing. He just reacts to certain keywords. So, what's this about cabaret clubs? Um, I was just saying that Komeji might be... Don't be ridiculous! There's no way I could be addicted to something like that. Oh, speaking of, Komeji, I heard you're a regular at Sunfish Pocket. What? A friend of mine told me you go there all the time. According to him, there's a mermaid there that you're really into. Ah, so you know. You got me. You got me. I'm embarrassed to admit I'm so into maid cafes at this age. But yes, you're right. I go there often. But the money problem has nothing to do with that. The debt is from my living expenses. That's just how little I've been earning lately. In order to pay my debt, I had to borrow even more. Before I knew it, the interest snowballed out of control. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this right now. So please. Why did they make such a, a ridiculous looking character have like... Like such an important but also kind of mundane part of the story here? Like what? Why didn't they just make him look kind of... Kind of like normal like the rest of the crew? Why, why cube head? It's kind of distracting. This is all thanks to you, Mr. Ryuki. Okay. And of course, everyone else here. Thank you all so much. Like I told you, it's nothing to worry about. A little injury like this won't bother me now that Shoma's back. Though, there is something I lost in all this. Uchi wanted him to look low pixel like Minecraft Steve, but art guy said no. Based art guy. Based art guy. Based. I seem to have dropped something at the warehouse district. It was something very precious to me. Well, anyway, don't worry about it. You gain some, you lose some. That's just how it is. Those shitty game directors need to be told no. Just no. Just no, game director. Said the game director. I know this firsthand. You have to be told no. Wasn't there another dialogue option? Oh, no, maybe there wasn't. All right. About... I told Shoma about the fact that I looked into Kumija's head, and I saw the envelope containing uh, Horidori Institute secret documents there. Okay. Can you tell me how you're linked to Horidori Institute? Shoma, answer him. Sorry, but I don't want to talk about that. Why not? Because I don't! I smell a Somnium! I burned it, so I don't have it anymore. I I'm fine, but really. I guess I should thank you. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome. Did you say thanks to your dad? I don't need to hear him say it. As long as Shoma is safe, that's all I want. I was at home, and those people in the suits, they came barging in. Speaking of being a dad, Finn update. Uh, he beat Moonlight Butterfly. And apart from that, just, just having, a, just having a, a wonderful time in Blight Town. Having the full Blight Town experience, let me tell you. <laughs> Although I gotta say, he's pretty good at like um, understanding the, the 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 fundamentals now. Pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Are you scared of it? No, he's not scared of Blight Town. No. Then they made me inhale some kind of knockout gas. When I woke up, I was in that warehouse. Did they ask you anything? What build is he using? Uh, sword. Uh, uh, great sword and uh, shield. He's not using an, an ultra great sword. He's using a claymore, which is plus seven. He's got a plus seven claymore, and uh, and he's got a balder shield, which is a really good shield. I would argue that the balder shield is probably the best shield in the game. Um, so he has a really really good shield, and he has just armor on. I, I'm not sure what armor on he has. The warrior armor. Maybe he put like a, a hollow helmet on or something that sort of thing. I don't know. You don't know? I don't remember. Maybe it's because of the gas. I was groggy the whole time. I don't know if he's morbing though, or like maybe he has the morb genes from me, but like he, he's done some things, like two things so far. He's avoided two major pitfalls in the game. He didn't go to the cemetery or to New Londo first. He went the right way. And then he he found um, the, I don't know his name, the golden armor dude in the cathedral. He let him out. And then when, when he went back to um, Firelink Shrine, 
he was upset with the reward that the guy gave him. Like, like this wasn't good enough, apparently, for Finn. So he killed him. And, like, that, that is, like, a, a very lucky thing that he did. If you know, if you've played the game, you know, like... Um, like, like how important it is to kill that guy. Like, yeah, so I don't, I don't know, like, he's, he's morbing a little bit. He killed him first try too. I didn't see him fight him. It probably wasn't first try. It's Shoma. He's silent with his eyes downcast. Fine. I'm thinking about the passage of time. Oh, time? God. Time goes by so quickly. Seriously. What is with that woman? Is he good at finding illusory walls? No, he's only found one so far. There's only one to find at that stage of the game. Where, where's, where's the second one? Um, he found the one in Dark Root Garden because there was a um, a note in front of it, uh, a message in front of it that said um, try attacking, and he did, and then and then he found it, and he was like like heavy pog. So yeah. Serious, what's that woman? Hmm. She helped us earlier, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can trust her. Hmm. Why don't you take a peek? Winksink, huh? She's gonna be in the mask. It's not gonna work. Oh, we don't need to do the hand motion! Today is February 11th. National Foundation Day, isn't it? But the doctor decided to give you a special consultation anyway. You should thank him. But I have to say, the doctor is at fault too. That was a bit harsh. In all the prior win wing sinks, isn't it only the person who is the subject of the wing sink is visible in it? So she's the nurse? Oh, um, well, about your remaining life expectancy. This may not offer much comfort coming from me, but Please don't feel too down. The doctor's diagnosis isn't always correct. Alright, now it looks like we're seeing something from a perspective looking down. So this is a first person perspective dream. How convenient. Alright, never mind. That was. She seems to have some sort of illness. Mizuki says what? Why do you ask? Okay. No reason. You saw me fight earlier, didn't you? I'm perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. I see. That's good. I didn't go there. I was there already. What? I'd rather not have to deal with you laboring under a false impression. So I'll give you some information. I've been independently looking into the genome editing research at Horidori Institute. Okay, did they take one half Mizuki and one half Yusuke and just put it in the blender and out popped you? With me, Mizuki as the dominant? Like, what's going on here? At Horidori Institute? Yes. I've been trying to get a handle on the movements of the researchers there. They made their move just a few hours ago. They mobilized a big group of them into the warehouse district. So I climbed on a crane and watched the events unfold. You mean you were just watching as Ryuki and I were fighting? Yes, but I realized that if I didn't step in, the old man and his boy would be killed. That's why I helped. Aren't I generous? <laughs> thank you. You thank her too, Shoma. I told you I'd give you some information. That's the extent of what I'll tell you. Why? Because someone here may be leaking intel to the Institute. You know, totally that's ridiculous and I stopped myself because... No, I will not. Though I guess it would be more accurate to say I cannot. Not yet. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by Oh NASA. my fucking god. Alright, how, how are you eating and drinking then, love? If you try to take it off by force, it would take my skin with it. Okay. What? Come on. Yeah, I agree. That sounds really bad for your skin. Yeah. But you said not yet, right? Yes, there is a way to remove it. NASA So funk. why not do it now? I am a woman of beauty beyond compare. If I remove this mask, blood would erupt from the noses of the four men here, and they would die of blood loss. In other words, I'm saving your lives by keeping this mask on. There's only one man here. What are you talking about? Quite kind of me. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. That was weird. Oh. What ability do you want? Telepathy, future sight, time control, x-ray vision. 
uh time control erotic why no not like that what i would just use it to kill people i wouldn't do that like what the hell excuse me <laughs> miyuki you better not be getting any funny ideas no it's not about me it's about shoma I thought you and him are kind of a nice match. If you don't have a boyfriend, why don't you and Shoma... What? Are you stupid? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's inexplicable, incomprehensible, impossible. Even if I were to reincarnate 100 million times, the possibility of that happening... Here. What? It's chocolate. Delagira chocolate. Because it's Valentine's Day and all. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, she Would likes you look him. Look at that. Shoma's a ladies' man. Makes sense considering he's got my blood in him. For what? If you didn't show up when you did, I don't think we could have saved Shoma. So. Don't sweat it. That was nothing to me. Well, Date... Yeah, I asked her to help. I couldn't get there right away, so I sent Mizuki instead. I told her not to start the fight until I got there, but... Not like I had a choice! Shoma was about to be taken away in that van! Are they- are they gonna link her back to the- to the- uh, Okay, like, is the reason why she's super strong is because of genetic and ed editing or something? And they're gonna explain that through this game? Like, uh... I'm sorry, are, are, are we heading to, like, something that should be impossible? That, like, Alsomnium Files 1 is- we're gonna hit the cliff of it in the second game? P post game cliff? Like, I'm sorry, what- what- where is this going? It's Mizuki. 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 Thinking about someone? Yeah. I was just thinking about Lian. I was with him in Golden Yokocho right before I went to the warehouse district. That's right. You know him, too. I met him when I was drinking at Brahmin. One thing led to another, and we started talking about each other's collection of literature. He seemed pretty proud of his collection. As two kindred souls sharing the same hobby, we lost track of time discussing our love of reading. We even promised to trade our most precious belongings. We've been sworn brothers ever since. Oh, but that's not what we're talking about today. There was something I wanted to ask him about the HB case. You've been investigating too, Mr. Date? I fucking love I'm Date. Vacation, so I'm just doing it on my own time. I can't get this case out of my head. <laughs> Certain rumor regarding Horidori Institute. S was not to about their discussion, but it was all information I already had. I didn't learn anything. No matter new. how you slice it, there's no doubt that Horidori Institute is involved in the case somehow. Yes, the Institute and Terror are closely related. The previous incident proves it. But what's their connection? The QR video was based on Bats 490. And Bats 490 was created by Nyes on Tokiko's orders. Tokiko knew the director of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. In other words, Nyes, Tokiko, Chikara, and Horidori Institute are all connected. And Terror is somewhere in there. Or maybe Terror is the one who's orchestrating it all. She still hasn't come home. Supposedly, she's on a top secret mission from Boss. Wait, what? She's already gone? Oh. What about, what about the, the, the big character development at the end and she's, she's like, I'm home and they share like a loving look and like, oh my God, our bond, like, like what, what the fuck? Oh, that, it awoke in me in third grade. I was walking alone through a deep forest behind my elementary school. It was my shortcut to get home. When suddenly inside a depression behind some bushes, <laughs> I noticed a lone magazine. <laughs> the origin of the porno mag power. It was a porno mag someone threw away. The pages were all crusty and whatnot. Ugh. I crouched down, and my heart was pounding in my ears as I turned the pages, using a branch. Anyway, <laughs> that's when it happened. I felt a stinging pain on my right ankle. I jumped up in surprise, and there I saw a white snake. I didn't know what kind. I was just a kid. But even then, I could tell that snake had deadly venom. About three seconds later, I was out like a light. They found me out there the next morning. I was on the verge of death for three days and three nights, but I managed to pull through. 
And that is how I acquired my Pornomag powers. You mean it was a side effect from the snake venom? No. No. It was more of a mental thing. I had a near-death experience immediately after experiencing a Pornomag for the first time. As a result, Eros and Thanatos inside me, Libido and Destrudo, they merged together in total harmony. In other words, I've come to be acutely aware of death whenever I get aroused. To put it in even simpler terms, I'm pushed to the verge of death whenever I see a porno mag. You know how humans can exert tremendous power in life or death situations? It's because the adrenaline triggers a fight or flight response. The same thing happens when I see a porno mag. My brain's processing speed increases by 3.6 times in order to avoid death, dramatically improving my reflexes. <sighs> Sorry. I know that story was dark. As if I've touched upon a great evil. You're touched in the head. You can touch upon my great evil. Ooh. They would be a good a good match. You nearly die when you see porno mags, don't you? So then why? Ah, excellent question. I'll answer with a question of my own. Boops. Why does a mountain climber seek the top of the tallest peaks? <laughs> why does a surfer want to ride the most monstrous of waves? Why do people climb up the highest buildings to do parkour or whatever? Or whatever. Why do they do such reckless things? For the thrill? Yeah, it's how they know they're alive. They can experience firsthand the wonder of life itself. That is the reason I continue to climb the mountain known as pornography. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my last name. I think that would be a good idea. What are you talking about? This delivery is fucking perfect. It is, isn't it? It's it's so perfect. Nailed it. Holy shit. I contacted him before going to the warehouse district. What? How did you... It's always good to have allies backing you up, right? What? But Mr. Dati is on vacation. You could have called anyone and you called him? If my precious subordinate is in trouble, I'll come flying to the rescue. Thank you. You've always been so good to me. I've always wanted to repay you somehow. But I... Don't worry about it. As long as I have breath in my lungs, I won't need your help. But when I die someday, I'll need you to do me a solid. When I die, I want you to wipe the hard drive on my computer. How about I bust it open for you, right now? No, please don't. Me? Hmm. No, there's not much I want to say. I don't want to confuse you by telling you something that I don't know for sure. I'll let you know once I get a bit more info. Wearing a mask, by the way. I asked a lot of questions, but... What I'm most curious about is the relationship between Shoma and Horadori Institute. Do you intend to sink? It's all I can do. What about the hospital? How long do you think I can last? You do realize that you should be getting medical attention as soon as possible? But I oh, guess yeah, there's you no got quite shot. to convince you. Knowing you, you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Thank you. I'm blessed to have such an understanding partner. Jeez. Shoma, there's one thing I want to ask you. Will you let me look inside your mind? What? Shoma, I think it's a good idea too. We're asking? Could you help Mr. Ryuki out? But this is all out of nowhere. Why not help him? Ryuki and your dad saved your life. You need to repay the debts you owe. It's just the right thing to do. Fine. Then... Somnium. 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 We just did a Somnium. I don't want to do another Somnium. Who's gonna say it this time? The machine looks pretty intimidating seeing it like this. I'm getting a bit nervous. But you already have experience with it. There's nothing to worry about. By the way, about Horadori Institute, we started searching the place. We have the staff in custody now, and they're being questioned over at HQ. But they're all refusing to talk. Hmm. It's going to take some time to get info out of them. Ryuki, about your shoulder. It's fine. Please begin. Pewter. Say the line, Pewter. Very well. Very well. <gasps> wait, what? What? No. Oh, wait. Ryuki, are you ready? Yes, I'm good to go. All right, then. Let's begin. What? 
Oh, this Somnium's unlimited. Upgraded Somnium. Say the line, chat. This is Shoma's house. This is the worst Somnium. Oh no, home. not this one. Hey, Tama, can you pretend to be a newlywed wife? Why? I'll give you four thousand yen. That's an eerily specific amount. Please, I need you to be a wife. Fine, I'll do it. Why does Ryuki get super fucking weird when we get into the Somnium? It's consistent. When we first get into the Somnium, it's like something else comes out of him. Hi, baby. I was waiting for you. Do you want some dinner? Or a bath? What? Or maybe meat? Thank you. Magnifico! Anyway, this dream world is a little dull. Yeah, there's a melancholy feel to it. Maybe this is Shoma's state of mind. He's holding something dark inside. In cases like this, if we solve his Somnium, he might open up to us. Yeah, good idea. And we might find out how Horidori Institute is involved in all this. Somnium scan. Activate. Peter didn't say his line, I'm not saying mine. Nope. Nope. Shoma seems to know the secret of Hordori Institute. By repairing his wounded heart, you might discover repressed memories. That's the suit Andy's Komeiji always wears. Is this all he has? Joke. Tickle. Smell. Uh, it's gotta be joke, right? Let's joke. Why? Nothing is better to heal Shoma's heart than a smile. So? Okay, leave it to me. Um... Dad, Dad, why did you disappear on me? Literally disappear? So this is a brand new 10,000 yen bill. This world is becoming more and more cashless. Look, an invisible man. No, he's just naked from the waist down. You know, this might have the opposite effect. <laughs> why? People watching on the TV were going crazy. I miss Date. Shoma's dad is so unfunny. Huh? Yeah, Andy's Kameji sucks, and you've never made us laugh either. Hold on, we used to... Yeah, lameness must be genetic. So true, now that's funny. So true? We don't want to contract your unfunny disease, so we're gonna stay away from Oh, and that's why he went to the Institute to find out if unfunniness was genetic. Stupid dad. Why me? This happened to Shoma. Even from a young age, he's had a rough. <sighs> really? I hate this world. It's all fake. The only thing I can believe in is the world I make. Uh oh, that's villain talk. That's super villain talk. Shoma rejected the real world. He decided he belonged in a world of his own creation. For him. The world he created was the real world. Hmm. Hey, we can inspect that model. Oh no. <sighs> Anyone else think the Somniums are kind of tedious? I, I feel like I like them conceptually. I just feel like the time limit and the trial and error guessing shit. Like I would, I would think I would like them more if there was no like, oh, if you choose too many wrong answers, you have to do the whole thing fucking all over again. You know, like I would rather just be able to shotgun every single option, see the cool kind of dream interactions, and then just eventually just get through it. You know, I, I think I would like them like so much more if that was the case. Is this a model of a house? <laughs> Tama, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? Is that Shoma from earlier? Seems like he went inside that model. It looks just like Shoma's house from earlier. But the colors are more vibrant here. 
Maybe that symbolizes his belief that this artificial world is the real world. Hmm, that was cool. Those are the clothes Shoma ripped up earlier, but it looks like cardboard. Maybe it's a wound in Shoma's heart. I bet we have to do something with this. Let's fix it. I guess the time limit does reinforce the six minutes insomnium thing, which is important to the plot. But you could you could change that to be something else. It doesn't didn't have to be that, but it does work. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Maybe better if you could skip through parts that you've already seen. Fix with scissors. Fix with hammer. Fix with what was that? Okay, fix with screwdriver. Fix with tape. The best thing for fixing a tear? Tape. I did it! It turned back to the original outfit. Yay! We used to play together. God of energy! Inti! Inti! Hachaka Max! We used to laugh together. Hey! That's no fair! <laughs> Laughed. <laughs> Hold up! Andy's is the best! Stupid dad. It's still not funny. It's a bit funny. But it's not cool. It's a bit cool. Shoma began making his own world and became God. Actions in his world suck as well. Okay. I wonder if that really happened. Maybe he tucked away the good memories in the world he created. The painful memories were played too. Not just the good memories. Yeah. Poor kid's heart. Even deep down, those painful memories remain. Shoma and his dad need to have an honest heart to heart. Huh? Looks like we made it out of the model. What phenomenon do you like? Poltergeist, rapping sound, ectoplasm, near death experience. I like some rap music, yeah. Sudden sounds at night are scary. Okay. But it's not cool. Uh, looks like the TV is the only thing to interact it's an older with. model TV. What's protruding out of the top? It looks like a spout or something. So we need to pour something in there? I don't know. Maybe it's just for show. Water power TV. Turn on, laugh, inspect. Tom is really good at turning things on, but do we need to laugh? Like, like looking back at a time when Shoma laughed at a joke that, that he found his dad funny? Let's laugh. You want me to laugh at the TV? Yes. Yeah, I was thinking it could bring back memories of the father and son laughing together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I heard laughter from the TV. Hmm. Should we turn it on? Shoma used to find his dad funny, but close his heart due to his environment weighing him weighing down on him. But Ryuki, you have five minutes left. That's What do you mean five minutes left? Five minutes from what? So we do turn the TV, the TV on. TV with And just like that. Shoma. God of laughter! Lucky happy Panchaka Max! Look at what you did. You really ruined the atmosphere. Can't wait for the end of the game where where he goes through like like a resolution in character development and now he's he's on a TV show doing the exact same level of jokes, only now everyone finds it funny. It's like, oh, ha, 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 here we go. Making the same bad jokes, but for this time, the right reasons. Um, uh, God of apologies. Sorry, sorry. Enough already. You're past your prime. I can't even stand you. That was so uncool. Why does he have to be my dad? Oh man, good thing I'm cool. That's what comes from being a comedian's son, I guess. I can't relate to but this at all. You shouldn't blame Kameiji for that. I wonder if we can change Shoma's heart by going inside the model. All right, so we're gonna go out, out here to see a bad memory, then we're gonna go inside the model to get a good memory. Or to, or to fix it, okay. Seems like the Somniums have a bit more structure and logic to them than the than the first one, at least. Although the first ones weren't completely completely devoid of that, but there was more guess what I'm thinking sort of tier puzzles. All right, we made it back into the model. Come to think of it, 
We haven't found anything on Horidori Institute yet. We need to help Shoma first. Good point. We can't leave him like this. Huh. Is that... Shoma was stabbing it with the screwdriver earlier. Did the hole get bigger? We should fix this, too. Get some tape. Get some tape. I see, a, I see an eye out there. How do I get the eye? Shoma began making his own world and became detached from reality. Actions in his creation... Something as well. Is it just this we can interact with? Suitcase? This is probably Kameji's suitcase. I'm guessing it's for his props. Go on vacation. For context, since Japan... Since Japan... What? Oh, for context, since Japan, I get it. Komiji became the type of comedian they brought on shows with other funnier ones so he could fall or get pied in the face. So his career uh, is being unfunny while he wants to be an actual comedian. Is there room for, like, respect in that kind of level of comedian, though? Like, that seems like something, like, if people are going along with it, that might be all right. I don't know. Nice to Japan? Hmm. No, there's nothing? Okay, my bad. All right, so none of these are good, except for open. I guess we have to open, and there's going to be something inside that we need to use to fix the TV. Go on vacation and get a new TV. Let's open. Uh-oh. No good. It's not opening. All right, let's go on vacation. It was a good memory. Here we go. One, three. Here we go. Huh? Suitcases are used for travel, right? Maybe Shoma has memories of going on a trip. Give me a line. Yeah, sure. Shoma, we're going to Machu Picchu. I'm gonna train my comedy skills at a World Heritage Site. Wait. Can they even afford to go to Machu Picchu? I never specified Machu Picchu. Yeah. Okay. Well, this sucks. Tickle? Tickle and it opens? Meiji suitcase. Tick tickle the suitcase open? I guess? It's not going to be throw. Although right now we're kind of throwing it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Stop! It, it tickles! He's laughing so much. There's something inside. Okay, bug snacks, grab it while he's laughing. Alright, we got it. A drawing of Komeji's face? I wonder if Shoma drew it. Shoma used to laugh a lot, but closed his heart to the world, but deep down he still loves to laugh. Four minutes now. Okay, we take the drawing and put it on the TV? It's a drawing of Komeji's face. Take. Ball up and throw. Comments. Cut out. Stab. How do I... Why Why can't I just take it out? Okay, I'm gonna cut it out. You want me to cut it out? You idiot! I can't cut something important like this. Jeez. You don't have to yell. I have an idea. Can you cut out just his face? If this ends up hurting Shoma, I'm going to cut your face out. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, done. Try covering the hole in the TV with it. Um, uh, God of apologies! Sorry, sorry! Enough already! You're past your prime. I can't even stand you. God of seasons! Warm, hot, chilly, cold! Is the is the sound okay today? I feel like my microphone's pointing in the wrong direction. Let me move a little bit. Here. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, you're just forcing it now. You're past your prime. <sighs> he has no sense for comedy. Why does he try so hard? I could give him lessons. <laughs> oh. He heard me. My understanding is that most kids don't give a shit about what their parents do for a living, but maybe that's a myth. Maybe I'm going to find that out. Finn and Leo care to some extent, but... Mostly that's the game dev side. They, they, they always want to know how, how that's going. Hmm. Maybe it depends on what the job is, I guess. He's conflicted. He wants him to do well, but he doesn't want to see him anymore. If 
if he's bullied, so he cares. Yeah, but why do the other kids care? Back. A way to bully him, maybe? Why am I laughing? Kids can be this pretty creative when it really comes to feel. hating on somebody. This can't be true. It's all lies. Shoma is confused. Huh. We can't go inside the model anymore. Manual raid because we're said, hey manual raiders. Gone too. Maybe Shoma is starting to accept reality. RT Raiders, how's it going, RT Raiders? Is this a Sudoku? Enjoy. Right. We did fix a lot of things. He's starting to comprehend what's real and what's artificial. Mars needs daddies. Well, it, it's Mars needs senpais on Steam, but then you download, you know, the unofficial patch that turns it into Mars needs daddies. That's that's where you get the real content. All right, what's this read? It says something. Let's see. Your dad is not funny. From now on, your name is Lamo Enda. Oh God. Nice to meet you, Lamo Enda. Oh, how will he ever recover? P.O. <laughs> These stupid kids. Fuck off! Stop making fun of him! Relax, Tama. This isn't real! It's all fake! Everything in this world is fake! All fake! I'm fake! Everything is fake! Kids, The kids were playing uh, Mario Kart with Lily uh, the other week, and um, uh, they, all, they all have their Switches, right? So they're playing Mario Kart. Uh, it's pretty fun, actually. And um, I need to get a copy myself to do that. Is there any way to, to share a copy and, and play online? Or if like if you're like a family of, of like four in this case, because the girls aren't ready to play Switch yet, like does everyone have to have their own copy of Mario Kart? There's no there's no like sharing over the over the, the system or whatever? I guess not. Anyway, so they're they're playing they're playing Mario Kart. And um, Leo is a bit younger than Finn, so 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 Finn is is generally better at video games than 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 Leo is because he has more experience. But they're they're playing a, they're playing a couple races, and and <laughs> Leo and Finn start trash talking each other as as they do. And then Finn got hit by a shell or something, and Leo pulled in for, uh, from the front and and won the race. And then <laughs> it said something like, "Oh look, Finn, you're the loser." Time to get your loser ticket, you loser. And then got really, really angry. So it was like, I don't know, like 20 minutes go by and, and, the, and the, the gaming session is over and Leo's in the kitchen doing something. And then he just, he just saunters into the living room and hands Finn something. And, and Finn's like, what's this? And Leo's like, it's your loser ticket, you loser. Kid had gone into the room and cut up pieces of paper to make literal, actual loser tickets. <laughs> and came and gave his brother one. <laughs> He's so funny, man. Uh... Yeah, that's it. That's I it? I just need to make everything fake. I don't believe it. Shoma. This is not reality. Maybe on the other side. Real. I thought we were close to a breakthrough, but his imagination is running away with him even more. This house we're in is just a model. No, everything is fake. What if there's another this model? This world is fake. Reality itself is fake. Everything is fake. There's nothing we can do. What? Why are you giving up, huh? We still have time! Sorry, you're right. It's too early to give up. Shoma started to dislike reality and stopped going to school. <coughs> Are your kids better at you than any video games yet? Uh, Finn is probably better than me at Gungeon. They're both better than me at Minecraft. They're probably both better than me at Terraria. They've played a lot of Terraria now. Finn claims that he beat the whole game on Master Mode, but I don't know if he used God Mode a little bit during that. Are you dreading the day you get owned by that like that by your sons? I probably already have. Linguistics Notebook. Science Notebook. Math Notebook. Let's go, let's go Science. It's a science textbook. There's no name on it. 
Finn plays Dark Souls on Switch? Yeah, that's what he's playing it on. Fixed with magnifying glass. Fixed with screwdriver. What? Fixed with screw- like, we're gonna score in? That doesn't- no, that doesn't seem right at all. It's a math notebook. Part of it is blacked out. Fixed with glue, fixed with erasure. Or eraser. Hmm. Let's go with eraser. I'm going to erase <coughs> the blacked out parts. It's not gonna work. Oh, it, it worked? Shuma Enda. Dad, why is my name Shoma? Oh, you want to know how you got your name? You know, I actually wanted to spell the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. Uh oh, make them play uh, Kirby and Forgotten Land. I don't have to make them play. They've already played it. Both of them have beaten that game. They like the game quite a lot. That game looks pretty good, actually. I think I would enjoy that game, and I hate Kirby. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. But when I told your sister, she said, why don't you use it as your stage name? <laughs> sister? But when I told your sister, ah, I need to brush up on my comedy. Yeah, you do. Everybody's a critic. Wait, you reproduce twice? Oh, chatter. Not just twice. Anyway, I decided to change the kanji for your name. The kanji for show can be congratulatory or mean happiness. I was so happy when you were born, I made it a part of your name. But to me, you still have the laughter in there. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Stop making me talk about it. God of shyness! Oh no, please! Not the spotlight! Stop that! Oh, sorry. <laughs> laughter and happiness. <laughs> Does Blighttown tank the FPS on Switch like it but does on PC? doesn't suit me. Mm. name. Oh, that was it! I thought we'd have to fix all of them. Oh, we got lucky then. I was thinking we'd go back to the other one and use the magnifying glass, and his name is on it. It's just so small we can't see it. Okay, we got really lucky there. Uh, the FPS on, on the Switch version it, it isn't great, no. Um, the, the remastered on PC is way better. Uh, it feels about the same level as the, the the original release on on PC, but it's it's you know it's Switch. What can you expect? Shoma believes Nai's teachings and believes the world is fake. By suppressing his feelings, the world has lost its color. I think it's a good name. That's why smiles suit him well. Yeah, we need to convince him. I don't need this memory. I don't need this name! It all hurts! I'm not even real! The world, Dad, it's all fake! Oh, the rooftop amusement park. The barber said, they're waiting for the ear to come on down! <laughs> God of haircut, snip snip, oops, got your ear! Stop. It's not funny. I don't get it. A lot of factors led to him becoming an introvert. Did you ever decide to whether to gatekeep Tears of Kingdom from your kids or not? I got them to try Breath of the Wild first, and neither of them stuck with it. They didn't like it. So maybe they're just not ready for it. A big open world game. Like Finn is taking the Dark Souls now, but th it's been a couple months since he tried to play Breath of the Wild. Um, they didn't They didn't like it. I, probably because it's too much for them. Like my boys are young, right? So remember like like Leo's six and, and Finn is a, like, about to turn eight. Like he's not even eight yet. So Breath of the Wild can be a bit overwhelming for that. Finn has played a Zelda before, but it was a link to the past on the Super Nintendo virtual console, whatever on, on his Switch. Um, I, I didn't get him to play it. He found that independently and he played it himself. Like, uh, so I don't know how he would, um, like, um, the, the, the early 3D Zeldas. He has played the early 3D Marios. He's played all the 3D Marios except for Super Mario Galaxy 2 because that's not on, uh, on Switch. And, uh, he hates Mario 64. So I don't know how he would like Ocarina of Time. And I, and I uh, respect him not liking Mario 64. Mario 64 is rough if you didn't play it, um around when it first came out, you know, or, or early enough. Like, the later 3D Marios are much better to play. A lot of factors lead into becoming an intro, okay. 
I'd like to fix every little thing, but... The trophy Shoma destroyed disappeared. Can you find something like it? There has to be something. Does Santa really exist? I'm Santa. Yay, give me reindeer. Great Zero Escape reference. Santa does exist. Okay, I don't want to accept it, but... Alright, robot drawer fridge. Let's go robot. It's a monowheel robot Shoma made. There's something under the tire. I wonder if it'll move out of the way. Beat up smile. Let's go smile. Yeah, it may only be a robot, but we need to show it love. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> You're downright bipolar. Whoa! Yeah! Damn, we're really oh, lucky this one. It's a ripped piece of paper. Oh, it's from the other Let's half? leave it on top of the kotatsu. Hmm. All right. Fridge or drawer? I'm thinking fridge. Shoma something. However, now he's something and has done it for the right reasons. Freezer or drawer? It's gonna be the drawer. Let's go freezer. A refrigerator. I want to open the door. Prop comedy. Lift. All right. What would be cheaper for them to produce? Lifting the fridge and then the thing is underneath it or opening the fridge and rendering everything inside of it. Prop comedy goes along with the theme of the Somnium. Let's do an equal six and lift. Oh, surprisingly light. Isn't that? Add a rooster turned into flat a rooster. What was that? Okay, that wasn't it. It's a normal refri- Normal refrigerator. All right, do we want to do, if we do minus 60, will it go to zero? It went to one second. Hey, 25 minus 60, I should gain time for this. We're gonna do a prop skit, Tama. Again? It'll be good this time. It's gonna bring back some sad memories again. 12 months, right. one year club. Welcome. I'm going to escape this uninhabited island on this. That's a raft? What? A third form? An enemy who gets stronger when they get smaller? What time do you think it is? Morning. In the Showa era. Hey, look. Oh. This is squishy. A kind of mighty hammer. Half might? Oh, Mama. You have a place here too? Marble's second branch. Whew. Seems like the grading scale for laughs was lower this time. Maybe it was always open. Oh, it's a ripped piece of paper. Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. Uh-oh, it's only a quarter. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Three minutes is it's an old dresser. Wish we could look inside. Comedy duo. Make them laugh. Huh, let's do comedy duo. What do you want me to do? Just go with the flow. Do it. Your instructions are way too vague. The other day, I hit my heart on the corner of the dresser and I thought my pinky toe was gonna explode. Other way around. Hey, do you think we could have just opened it normally? I guess we could have. There's something inside. Ripped origami? Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. And I thought my jokes were bad. Shoma gave his dad a gift to support him. However, now he does not accept his dad and has thrown away that memory. This ripped paper must have some significance to it. Should we try to repair it? Yes. Where's the tape? Pot. Hmm. There's miso soup inside. Dude? Oh. Ooh. Does it matter which one? Paralyzed? Oh, it's this bit again. Oh, okay. What is this? 
The first game did this too, didn't it? Are you doing this? What are you doing? <sighs> Why? No, Ryuki, help me, Ryuki. <gasps> I got chills. What's going on? Addo rooster. Almost got cursed by a Addo rooster. Almost. Almost cursed means I wasn't cursed. Sheet. The tears match up. Let's try putting it together. Okay, glue or tape? Tape. Fix with pen. It's got to be with tape, right? So far, most of them have made some amount of set, uh, of sense. Although it could be fixed with scissors and you like rewind the scissors, right? Hmm. Let's go tape. Tape, of course. Oh, okay. wasn't fake if it was real the whole time is my pain real too man your dad's not funny who cares get over it remember my feelings of acceptance honestly i want to laugh tama you okay yeah, somehow. I didn't think that memory was going to be that bad. Why did Shoma have such a negative reaction? Is that what you're going to tell your kids? I won't have to, because I'm fine. Sometimes the best memories make the hurtful ones worse. If you're not in a good place, the last thing you want to do is look back on all the times that were better. Shoma doesn't want to see how he was back then. Back before his heart was broken. That's how he see, stays. See, people are laughing. That must be hard. The metal we fixed earlier. Ah, I'm not young anymore. Dad, 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 you're the winner in my eyes. Super duper gold medal. You were amazing. Wow, now this is a super duper gold medal. Thank you, Shoma. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper gold medal. Maybe if we use that, can you hold the medal? I'll try. Use it to what? Fix the robot? I feel like this would be landing better if he wasn't a cube head. That robot's chest part is open. I think it's busted. Maybe if we fix it, Shoma will be healed too. A gold heart. Fit gold medal. Stand up. Oh, stand up comedy! Alright, equals one. This is the gold medal? Yeah. Wedge it into the chest area there. Roger that. Just realize Shoma and Komeji might be the best part of the game. Don't, don't, don't say that. Right in here. Don't, don't say that. Like, this isn't terrible, but don't say that. I have to pay you back for giving me such a nice gold medal, Shoma! 
I congratulate Shoma Enda for coming first in the championship of gold medal making! Wow! It's a robot! 13 Sentinels? Shoma, you've noticed it, haven't you? The feeling I've been holding inside. You ignored your dad, and you ignored your feelings, didn't you? Stop! I don't want to see you anymore! I've had enough! Shoma... No one is laughing! I accepted it. Stupid. You're wrong. That stupid job. That's not true. He should quit! That's not what you want. He's a shitty father! You don't think that. I don't care about anything! You should know! I really... what you really want to say! It's like me reading the Heart Association messages. I really... Dad, I... I love you. Oh. No, that's not me. I'm home to the max! I thought there was an earthquake today, but it was just the studio shaking with laughter at my jokes. <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Shoma? Hey, Dad. I think I understand you a little more now. I think I understand me more, too. I've wanted to say I'm sorry for so long. It's okay, Shoma. A comedian? It's the coolest job ever. Yeah. And I'm so, so proud of you, Dad. You are? Really? Th thank you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> Is Kimiji seeing this on the on the monitor outside? This world isn't fake. My heart feels so warm inside right now. No. This feeling has to be real. It's a dream, bud. I know this world has to be real. He got it back. His heart. He should be able to open up more now. Yeah, you're right. You know, Shoma does look best when he's smiling. I don't find their child-parent dynamic is, is as interesting as any of the ones in the first game. Um, yeah, I think I would agree with that. It's not bad, though. So far, the game's just been kind of dull compared to the first one. Oda's Root is better. It's better than Oda's Root, but that's because Oda's really annoying. I can't stand Oda. Past its Ken. Hmm. Is that when you start, like, playing Chung Li instead or something, or what? I feel like I've been dreaming for a long, long time. And it's a painful dream. I thought people didn't remember the Somniums. Yeah. Oh shit. Maybe they do. It's not bad. You should have let my dad on too. He's waiting in a corner of the park. I thought it would be easier for you to talk if we what? were alone. He's dead. No, that's not true. Things are different now. Good for him. Looks like the chastity belt of his heart has unlocked. We showed the security guard a uh, mess of time our police IDs to get in here. We told him this was regarding the investigation. He led us through the main power of the amusement park is still on and the key to the Ferris wheel control board is stuck, still stuck in the ignition. So it'd be easy to move, to move this. Okay. So hold on. So we're explaining how we're on the Ferris wheel at night and th that got a, tr a trivia like, Hey, pedants be a piece, you know, like we're going to cover it. And yet we still haven't talked about the guy that we saw in the basement of Nizet Law's building that was recorded by Tama and like what happened there? Who was it? What? Like, what the fuck? It all started with the test. 
The results from my health checkup at my elementary school came back abnormal, so they wanted to do more tests. But instead of the hospital, I was taken to Horidori Institute. The test results show that you have some very special genetic abnormalities in your DNA. I got some phage. It's Plasmids? extremely rare. Only one in hundreds of thousands of people has it. One day, and it will be soon, you will fall ill to an incurable disease, and it will take your life. The only way for you to survive is to receive gene therapy through genome editing here at this institute. Doubt? So I started going to Horidori Institute. And your dad didn't know? It wasn't true. Not really. About that envelope. I stole About it from that envelope, I owe you. I found it on my doctor's desk. It said it was top secret, so I thought it must be super important. So I grabbed it and put it in my pocket. Base. Inside the envelope was pieces of paper with writing all over it. It was written in German, but I managed to figure out what it was saying by using a translation app. There actually wasn't anything wrong with my genes. What kind of enemy character are you? You're you're a child enemy character. Why didn't you just learn German? What? That should have been so I learned German and then I read it. What the fuck is this? It was all for the sake of research. Horridori Institute was rewriting my genetic code. They used me for human experiments. When I found out, I talked to Director Horridori. He acted like he did nothing wrong. Why are you upset with me? You should be grateful. Happy, happy. Your body is now special thanks to genome editing. Also, I would advise against pulling out of the experience now. Your body is still in a transitionary stage. It needs regular testing and medication. If you stop now, all the cells in your body will. And so I continued doing the experiments until one day a couple weeks later I was in the office again and that was all a lie too. So I picked up the top secret document and it said that was- <laughs> Oh we're done, okay. I decoded the message and went where it led me. To an underground floor of the Nice Japan building. They called it the Cathedral. The president, Miss Shigure, was waiting for me there. She complimented me on decoding the message and invited me to join Nyes. That's probably why Bats 490 was being spread in the first place. Tokiko did mention that. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. Oh, uh, thank you, Dragon555 for the resub. Thank you very much. Miss Shigure told me all sorts of things about Nyes' ideals. And I was sick of the world at the time, so... When they told me this world isn't real, I fell in love with Nyes' beliefs right away. They told me to keep it all a secret. You cannot tell anyone about the secret of the world. Yep, they did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Secret of the world, yep. known Thank by you. only a handful of people. I felt like I was special, just knowing I was one of the chosen few. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. Oh, one second. I need to check my Tamagotchi. Do you believe in fortune telling? Nope. What would you say... What would you say? What would you say, Daddy? Why would you say, Daddy? It's H Hitomi. Which one's Hitomi again? Was that Iris's stepmom? I thought I just told you. No, that's not what I meant. You deliberately lied about it pointing to Horidori Institute. You could have chosen not to say anything at all. But if I didn't say anything, you would have taken me in, right? Then I'd get tortured and injected with the truth serum, and you'd force me to talk about the secret of the world. I lied because I didn't want that to happen. Is that what he thinks the police do? Well, he is still a kid. Horidori Institute was the first place that popped into my head. <laughs> Remember in the first game they used truth serum in like a... Just a throwaway line? Like... Just, like, they introduced, used, and never brought up again in one sentence. The truth serum was contained to one line of dialogue. And line. <laughs> I've been there lots. And I hated the director, Mr. Horidori. Whoa, what's So I wanted him? to bug him a bit. I don't know. The papers in the envelope didn't have any details. And director Horidori didn't tell me anything. Do you notice any changes in your body? No, not really. It's the same as usual. Does your father know about this? I don't think so. I haven't told him. I didn't want him to worry about it. 
and Director Horidori threatened me not to. This should go without saying, but I want you to keep this a secret. Seems legit. Don't tell the police, your family, anyone. You're dumb. If you do, I'll be forced to destroy all of the data and the medicine that you need. And you know what that would mean, don't you? He's 12? Yeah, Thanks he's for telling dumb. Me all this. It's going to be a huge help for the investigation. No need to thank me. I owe you my life, Mr. Ryuki. And besides, I decided to be honest from now on. I see. Uh -huh. I like the look on his face. Yeah. You know, I actually wanted to spell the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. You have a nice smile, Shoma. It fits your name perfectly. My name? Name. 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 Wait, I remember something. My name. What is it? When I was being kidnapped by the researchers, I met Terror in the warehouse. Wasn't it? Was there a scene in Zero Escape that did that shit too, where we said something and and the character did had like a end of episode, end of house episode connection of like three logical leaps for them to get to a big revelation when they said it? What 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 was what the fuck was that? Neo stigma. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, some some drug thing. Like yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah. What? I couldn't see their face because they had a metal mask on. Uh -oh. But I'm sure it was terror. They said. <laughs> I am terror, said terror. <laughs> Joe, eight year old writing. Okay, cool. <laughs> And then I said no. I can't remember. Dahlia. Dahlia. Oh, 12 minutes? Not again. Not again. By the time we got to the Ferris field, it was already this is the sun out. The sun is rising into the east. It shines brightly, diffusing through the white haze covering the city. They gathered in the cold night. Do 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 do. Welcome back, Shoma. Dad. I'm home. And thank you. You risked your life to protect me, right? Dahlia. So Shoma, I'm so sorry. Until now, I've always been thinking about what's best for me. I always said I was doing things for you, but I was just being selfish caused so much trouble so the stream crossover it's always with two shit games huh mother and sister too 12 minutes and a nirvana initiative but i'm done being selfish. steins gate and persona 4 through any more pain i'm going to quit comedy and get a normal regular office job whoa don't quit what i'm just like kidding chat i'm just dad. kidding don't like freak out steins gate's not a game shoma I don't care if kids make fun of me at school anymore. I won't let them say you're uncool. You're trying to help people with your jokes, right? It's just like when you protected me. You put your heart and soul into it so you can make people laugh and make this world a happier place. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. So, so, I don't want you to so be a comedian no matter what. I sense it together coming. Is that? Dad, you dropped this at the warehouse district, didn't you? That's where I picked it up. And when I went to the police earlier, I borrowed some tape and fixed it. Congratulations, Dad. <laughs> you won the best dad in the world championship. It's a landslide victory. <laughs> you try so hard as a comedian, and it's kind of lame. But you're so cool at the same time. Okay, but he's bad you at it. <laughs> nice, have nose hair sticking out and wipe your face with hand towels. Whoa! But you're my super dumb funny dad, and I'm proud to be your son. Pluck your nose, bruv. Oh, 
That's one spectacular prize. A landslide victory for me, huh? Thanks a bunch, Shoma. You laughed at some of his jokes. I was trying to get Tommy to like me. Shut up. <laughs> you know what? I think I learned something today. By the way, Dad, there's one favor I want to ask. Energy, inti, inti, Hachaka Max! <laughs> God of laughter, lucky, happy, Pachaka Max! <laughs> God of apology! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was God wrong about this together. Warm, hot, chilly, cold! <laughs> God of shyness! Oh no, please, not the spotlight! <laughs> Ryuki, you should get to the hospital soon. Yeah. The case isn't solved yet either. Yeah, I know. But oh yeah, he, his 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 laser I, bullet wound. I want to watch them a little bit longer. Okay. They have Just, a lot of issues to work out, don't they? Got to be the end of the route, yeah, right? Yeah. But I'm sure they'll be fine. As long as they have smiles, their world will be saved. Uh oh. Oh, are we are we pivoting into everyone has their own world, hey, so it doesn't me. matter about simulated reality or whatever? What did you think of that joke? What joke? It was great, Dad. You really are the best comedian in the world. In this world. Well, this sucked. Komija and Shoma root end. The case isn't closed yet. There are many mysteries remaining. The truth of the HBK's terror's objective and the future of the main characters. In this game, the story branches at the Somnia. From the flowchart, select the Somnium and find a different route hidden in the dream world. Alright. We're never giving up on this game. Never. Okay. So, do we want to go back and branch here? Or do we want to do this one? Do we want to stick with Ryuki and see it to the end? There's no branch in her Somnium? Maybe there is later. Oh, you know what? I bet you there's one if we if we know the the nil code. We can go back and branch it there. You don't have the name? I could guess it. Dahlia Date or something. You can't guess it? What do you mean I can't guess it? Even if I guess it right, it won't let me do it unless I've seen it? Okay, can we jump to the part where we where we pick it or no? Prepare the money. All right, here we go. New content. Okay, I just need to get some money ready, and those Yakuza guys I met at one of my shows, they said they had a good paying job for me. I guess I'll just have to take a chance on that. We want you to kill someone by making them not laugh to death. You review Witcher 1 and 2 and not, and not 3, why? I didn't review Witcher 1 and 2, no. Let's go. What I need to help Shoma is something, something, something. Cash, cash, cash. Even though I have to die, whatever happens to me. Okay, hold on, we have to pay attention here. Where is he? There he is. It's a shooting game. I can't picture Komeiji playing this. Something funny, try it. Find someone good at games. Okay, it's never the one that gives us the, 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 the money, uh, the time save. Something funny, find someone good at games. Uh, let's go with something funny. Say something funny? That's kind of vague. Uh, let's see. Oda Army, Trifle Squad, second row. <laughs> ah, he's making a reference to Oda Nobunaga's army. Maybe a soldier waiting to swap into the second firing line in the Battle of Nagashino? You don't need to analyze his joke. Do you understand how hard it is to say something funny when someone asks you to say something funny? Yep. Oh. I'm so sad now. I'm losing energy. What should I do when I'm losing energy like this? God of energy, Inti Inti, Pachaka Max! There it is! <laughs> You're the only person in the world who finds that funny. Nah, show me the This too. has nothing to do with shooting anymore. <laughs> hey, Ryuki, can you think of a better cue? 
I figured he would be bad at shooting, which is why I went with it, but... He is a comedian, you know. I expected him to be able to improv better. You're a terrible director. You have to break the law, whatever happens to me. Four minutes now. Oh, it wasn't this. Okay. A shooting. Do some shooting then. Is it just try it? I don't even play games. Well, I guess it's like a shooting game at a carnival. Here I go. Oh, I'm not a target? <laughs> <sighs> he won't play. Maybe he won't do it himself. God damn it. Well, in that case. God damn it. Rumbled. Rumbled. A sh yeah, well, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Oh. What? You want me to play this? Oh, I I'm not good at this. Hey there, you look like a shooter. Why don't you give it a shot? This is the goods. I'm gonna take the pay. Don't worry, it's untraceable. Thank you. Did you kill somebody? Or was this how you got to the Institute? Oh no. Andy's Komeji was selling firearms? Huh? Komeji is gone. What? Well, he He's is known there. for his bangers. Komeji is trying to get on an airplane. His expression is so... dead. Tama, get in position to show Komeji a cue card. One more round. Jump off. Call out to the near... to people nearby. What, what did this say we were supposed to do? Shit. Well, where was the log? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so jump off. Ryuki. Jump off for one more round. Let's go one more round. What? Another? Uh, what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Why? I gave you all your money. You're nowhere close. Going round and round again, Komeji. You're stuck doing laps for us just like this plane ride. Komeji had a hard yeah, time you, getting away from the shady characters. Like, I'm uh, guessing okay. he could only pay off the interest. Crap! I forgot my bow tie! Hey, where is he going? What is this? I know. If I have this, this is my ticket out of here. This is victory! This is my gold medal! What did Komeji find? I'm going after him. What? Is this? Take, inspect, play. 190! Alright, it's gotta be take, right? Take it. If I take this with me, they'll have to pay me. There's no way they want this getting found. And it'll fit perfectly in my suitcase. Happy, <laughs> happy Komiji. <laughs> it's just sitting there practically begging me to take it. If I take this, I can escape this life. This is my chance to finally get ahead. I can't go back now. Meiji took something home in his suitcase. I'm guessing he was going to blackmail someone. But what could it be? Well... It's a gun. What if you had a gun? Alright, we did it. World marble. Oh, it's a marble! For the- for Komiji gets a marble! Oh, what's he gonna pick? Those are worth a million coins. Someone frantically making a Komiji uh, novelty account right now to see if they can get a free marble out of it. <laughs> Hacker man gif. <laughs> Sweat coming down. Smoke coming off the fingers of the keyboard. Quick, quick, gotta be the first one to get it. Hey, here's my marble, Joe, Joe, here's my marble. Mr. Komeji, I've taken a look inside your mind. You've been involved in gun trafficking, haven't you? There are other things I'd like to ask you about. May I have a minute of your time? Why are we doing an interrogation? Just do a second Somnium. What do you want to disappear from this world? War, borders, racism, overtime. Oh, overtime for sure. 
Mandatory overtime, but what about self-imposed overtime? Self-imposed overtime is the worst one. Oh, remaining silent. Smart. Mr. Komeji, you're treading dangerous waters here. At this rate, Shoma could also be put in danger. Please, talk to me. For Shoma's sake. Shoma, can you protect him? You want me to protect Shoma? As soon as I know he's safe, I'll tell you everything. Uh-oh. Ryuki, I have Shoma safely under custody. I'll put him on the line. How? How? Dad! How? Shoma, are you okay? No. The cops came and put me in the car, and now they're driving me to the station. I see. What did you do, Dad? The police are after you now? I knew you were dumb, but not that dumb. <sighs> I'm sorry. Shoma, I'll have to fill you in later. I need to talk to your dad for now. Uh, okay. But... All right, Ryuki. I'll leave the rest to you. Thank you, Peter. Now, please continue, Komeji. Or do you prefer Mr. Enda? He wasn't kidnapped. I think he was kidnapped. He was just kidnapped by Peter. And we're just, we just got to talk to him before Peter goes and takes him to the Institute, because we know how Peter is involved in these things. Yes, I, I've racked up a huge amount of debt. I've been getting hounded by collectors. Eventually, they started threatening me with this. Listen, Andy Skomeji. Your dear little boy is in elementary school, uh, isn't he? Ooh. If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? I couldn't talk to the police about what you said earlier. Gangsters selling guns and I was an accomplice. It was all for money, but I've always wanted to cut ties with that lot. But I couldn't do it. I had no other way to pay back the money I owed. The money I make as a comedian is just a drop in the bucket. Well, the thing on the rooftop of Misaton, you know about it, don't you? Yes, you walked away with it in your suitcase. It was so you could blackmail someone. That's right. Is this related to Horidori Institute somehow? No. Mr. Ryuki, uh, please take a look at this. From Terror. How is, how is, that's his name? Like he put... Did you put that in your phone, or is does he put it, his own profile as terror? Come to Horidori Institute and ask if you give back, you'll be rewarded. A message. Look at the sender. Yeah. <laughs> a message from terror. Komeji, what's it's going Chris on? It's Chris Redfield. Here? Why do you have a Nile message from a serial killer? That thing I found belonged to terror. Carlos? That's what he was talking about in the message. Are you saying you tried to blackmail terror? Yes. I guess so. Anyway, what a that's why I went to Horidori Institute. The entrance was already open by the time I got there. Well, we're at two hours. Well, that's that's the end of my stream. All right. I'm gonna go pee. If you've been sitting the whole time, get up and walk around. Have you heard that Sarkovsky is writing a new Witcher book? I have not heard that. Is that true? So he wrote another one, um, and it's the only one I haven't read. He wrote another one after um, a long time after he he wrote the the series of novels. And that was, uh, most of that was a, was, was set in the past. So it wasn't a continuation. There was one part and I read that part. Um, but I didn't want to read the rest because I didn't want to get too confused, uh, with the timelines and everything. Cause it was already hard enough to follow the different, uh, continuities and everything. Um, so I'm curious if it's going to be like that again, or if it's going to be after the, the novel saga. Hmm. As he said many times, the main Witcher story came to an end with The Lady of the Lake, which was published 24 years ago. Just just like the book Sapkowski has released since then, anything else in the Witcher story will continue to either be a side story or a prequel, according to Sapkowski. Yeah, but like he could go back on that. Like that was that was a long, 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 long time ago. I, I read some of the interviews he gave about the about the books and the games too. It's it's hard to because because most people only found out about The Witcher. Um, 
uh, a long time after the books were done. Obviously, if you if you're in Poland, that's different. But for for most of the the people in in my circles, uh, and to do with video games and find out about The Witcher until a long time after the books were already done, um, it's it's hard to appreciate just how how much time has passed. Like you go back and, and read the interviews that Sarkovsky gave uh, when the books first came out, when he was still writing them even, and um, and and now, and he he's a completely different person. Like like. And rightfully so. It's it's been like almost like 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 three decades. Like he he is a completely different person. So like like you can't hold him to that. So who knows what it's gonna be? He was surprisingly horny in some of the earlier interviews. <laughs> Witcher is horny, so that checks out. Witcher is not really that horny, actually. The books aren't that horny. What do you mean, Joe? The games are way hornier than than the books. The entrance is already open. That's how I got there. Uh, but right. there was no one inside, as you know. I had no choice but to wait there, and then you showed up. One second, an evolved question. Which universe should I go to? First T3, 20% mastery. Okay, if, if you want to do a shit ton of grinding. Do you still intend to hide things from me? You're right. I was involved with gangs and their gun trafficking operations. That's where I stole the gun I had. I was knee deep in some dangerous business and I thought I needed a way to protect myself. Will you play three houses in one go or divide it up? Either way, I recommend not getting DLC until third time. Third time? I'm not doing all the routes of three houses, if that's what you're asking. If I love the game, I'll consider it, but as far as I'm concerned right now, I'm only doing one route of three houses, okay? Like, if I need to do all three for, for to get the whole experience, then then maybe, but if we do, then I then I will divide it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna play three houses for three months. No, thank you. Mr. Komeji. I'll ask you one more time. What is this thing that's so important to terror? It's half of a body. Fine. I'll ask a different question. Where is it now? Will you bring me with you? If you do, I'll tell you. Oh, did it bo did his bow tie get bigger? Decoy bow tie? Right, but what we all want to know is are you going to play the Ace Combat DLC mission? Just be grateful on playing Ace Combat at all. Mr. Komeji, isn't this... Yes, it's my home. This makes so much sense that it's actually confusing. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. So, where can I find it? In the robot. Ah, oh, right. Uh, <laughs> where was it? I must be getting old. I'm having trouble remembering. Mr. Komeji, please. You can't tell me that after bringing me all the way here. I know, but what am I supposed to do if I can't remember? We have no choice, Ryuki. Let's just start looking around. In all seriousness, the Ace Combat 7 DLC is like under two hours. It's and it's hilarious. Well, if Man of Answers is saying that, then okay, I'll play it. Lock it in. Ryuki, shall we play Hit and cover Rock Paper Scissors? What are you talking about? We don't have time. Lock for that. it in. But I have to be clear, Man of Answers, this is your Christmas present. Hmm. Nothing really stands out. Nothing here, huh? There's something like seaweed on the ground, though. I don't think that's relevant right now. What? Please give me a minute. I'm trying my hardest to remember. Oh, so when Gary Rush is kind of okay, you play Gary Rush 2, but when Ace Combat 7 is voted in, you won't play the entire Ace's output, including... I'm not limited to the original air combat. Oh, it started off with air combat, didn't it? My memory is that Gravity Rush 2 won, and then we put Gravity Rush 1 on it so we could play them both. That's my memory. What type of person makes a good teacher? Tough but loyal person, a hard-boiled person that cries every day, someone kind of like a friend, indifferent person, a hard-boiled person that cries every day. Oh, I was like that when I was younger. Gaslighting myself? Yeah, maybe. There are only futons inside. I doubt Terror had an interest in this. Futons? After we checked the room from end to end. We didn't find anything that might that might be what we're looking for. Why don't you tell us what it is? Mr. Komeji, are you really sure it's here? Y yes, it should be. How strange. Where could it have gone? Ryuki, look at this. What is it? I thought so. What is he thinking? I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep lying to me... Huh? 
why are you all here? Uh... Ryuki, you left Shoma at Abyss HQ, didn't you? How awful of you to leave him all by himself! Miss Iris, Miss Mame, and I were having dinner at Yurakucho. Then I got a Nile message from Shoma. That's when we found out about the questioning. We also found out Shoma was in police custody. This is bad! It's a super mega big deal! That's what we all were thinking, so we headed over. But he was done being questioned by the time we arrived. That is why we decided to bring him here. Wasn't he in danger of getting kidnapped or something? I can't remember what Peter said. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was on the other timeline. They all know Shoma? Seems so. Alright. Shoma and Mizuki go to the same elementary school, so that's probably how they are all connected. Give it up already, Dad! I already hated you for being unfunny, pathetic, and unpopular. And now you're a criminal too? Did the police tell you that? Yeah, they told me everything. But it was all for you. Stop making excuses! You did all that bad stuff, and you're still trying to fight back, lie, and trick your way out of it! I'm sick of it! Shoma... Dad... Dad... You should just die already! <gasps> and then he died. Excuse me. What? Uh, what is it? Come to Divida alone. I'll give you one more chance. Big Mistake. What's Divida? <sighs> this could be an opportunity, Ryuki. <laughs> Divida is where he cuts them in half. <laughs> if we go to Divida, maybe we can catch terror. Mr. Komeiji, we'll put our search aside for now. I'm going to Devita, alone. I can't bring you along on a hunt for a dangerous criminal. No, you can't. Terror will run if you show up. I need to get his guard down first. You should hide somewhere. And once he shows up, you appear. Okay, why don't we sure? talk about what you have? Yes. I'll be the bait. What do this you have on him? This is the least I can do after what I've done. Man, I miss the driving between scenes. Scene. Z. Kamija went to the studio alone. Before he did, he started a video call on a smartphone. I hid out of sight watching the video and waiting for something to happen, but no matter how long I waited, it didn't seem like terror would show up. Oh, he's off killing somebody. I eventually ran out of patience and walked into the studio. He's dead! Uh oh. That this makes Ryuki go to the Matrix. No. No 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 you gotta run out of here, dude. Kamija run. I'm starting to think we're a terror. Ryuki, are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? What's his brother's name? What... what... happened? What's that? Oh good, you're okay. I don't think I'm injured. Why are you here? We will explain- Why is our eye okay? First, can you tell us what happened here? I don't know. I started seeing things. Is she out of battery? I lost consciousness. Whew. I managed to come back. Oh, okay. Tama. After you lost consciousness, you were attacked from behind. A high voltage current was delivered to your back, and I was short circuited. I wasn't able to use any of my functions. But, as you can see, I was able to bring myself back online thanks to my self repair program. Did Tara do this? Best girl. I don't know. I didn't see the attacker. I don't know anything after you lost control of your bladder. You mean lost consciousness? Yeah, whatever. So, where is Komeiji? I don't see him here. Look up. Hmm. 
Yeah, I noticed this right away. Really? the the quiz and the body falls down we found happy happy chikara and then he ends up ends up dead we went to tostito and then she ends up dead and then we're here and he's ends up dead and we had we had a blackout oh who's that we had a blackout at uh when when at the time of the murder when she died and then what happened to chikara hmm Pretty, pretty sus. Ryuki, you should talk to the others first. Or is there the a- right half of Kameiji's body. Is there a bomb? I think L it's safe to say terror is the culprit. Nah. Ryuki, let's talk to everyone before checking the body. Tama, is your last name terror? All right, wink sink. Wink sink. Wink sink. Wink sink. You know what? You're the most sus one here. What? What's, you know what? Should we save scum and see them all? Oh, Lily's here. You're not Lily. Hello, how are you? Is your tooth hurting? Uh, not today. Not today, no? Yeah, it's not hurting anymore. No, it's not hurting anymore? Bad, Kay. Bad, Daddy. Mm. Give me a kiss. Okay, go downstairs. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. I thought it was Lily with a T. Do we want to save it and, and wink sync them all? Can't wink sink now. Not enough battery. Oh, then, then why is it an off? She seems very shook up. We should let her be for now. I see. No one saw anything. Just a mannequin. It must have been used for a show or something. Um, well. Here you are. Oh, Tim. It's terror. Here you are. The receipt for your card payment. Oh, thank you. Bro, this is a crime scene. Ryuki, what are you doing? Ryuki! Hey, excuse me, but who are you? Hmm? What? Oh, I am but a humble taxi driver. I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier. So you drove these four here? Indeed. That is correct. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, but I didn't know how to open the CD player, so I smashed it with my fist. Okay. Why are you telling me this? Based. That is just how terrible with machines I am. That is why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. And while I was fumbling my way through the payment, he said that the girl with the blue hair in the passenger seat ran out. So it was. Oh, oh wait, you're trying to flake on paying the taxi driver by killing uh, Shoma's dad? What the? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite flustered by this rowdy display. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. Oh, I smell a timeline. I somehow managed to process the payment, but I was still quite bothered. I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. Look at the cab driver's mouth. That he, He's teeth synced again. He's talking with his teeth. What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's. But she was sitting on the far left seat, so Shoma and I didn't get out. Okay, is it really one of them? What, what's all these details? Who cares? There's no way it's it's one of you. What? Dahlia says what? Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. Um, if you'll excuse me. Face in your hands. Let me see your face. Are you, are you two people right now? Y yes. 
Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Mame was already inside. With blood on her hands. She was washing it off. Don't know how that happened. What is it, Ryuki? Does something bother you about that? No, it's nothing. That is a bit of an exaggeration. We simply untied the rope that bound you. Rope? Unless Jen was here. Oh. Must be that one over there. I was tied up with that? Yeah. Your hands and feet were tied really tight. When we arrived, we found you on the ground in that state. So it was a talk. So Kizzy and I untied the rope. By anyone, do you mean the culprit? Well, anyone at all. Like any suspicious figures, maybe? No, we did not see a single soul. I see. Someone knocked the kettle over. I guess so. I figured that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to Divida, so I got worried and came over. So we saw the we saw the video, which which made terror take over. We got up, we we killed uh, Komeji. There was a struggle at the table. Then we used our our nano ability to tear him in half. Took the the other half of the corpse somewhere, and then we came back here, got Tama to pop out of her eyeball, and she used her bondage skills to tie us up with the rope. And but it used a lot of her battery, so then by the time she got back into her 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 socket, she had lost all of her energy, and she had to recharge a little bit, and also that made her like lose all her memories of what what we made her do. And during that time, we also referred to her as our shot put ball. Because we're the shot football killer. Oh, but we did not come here right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. I think it was about two and a half hours after you left that we decided. We thought we should just come straight here and... Two and a half hours? It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. It's been a while. No. I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. Sorry, I was looking at the screen there. I was, I was turning the air off. All right, how's it going, Trauma? Of course he's not okay. Komeji was his father. Yeah, he hated him though, it's fine. What can you even say in a situation like this? How could this have happened? Tama, have you contacted Abyss and HQ? Way ahead of you. The investigation team should arrive soon. I've also arranged for a counselor. Are we gonna be in trouble again that we came here with someone and then someone else wound up dead? Like this seems like a bigger fuck up than, than the one in the basement of Nizalaw. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. Uh, Sh Shoma? Are you okay? Uh, uh. What kind of tea do you like? Orange Pico. With a bit of milk and sugar. Don't just stand there, Ryuki. Go after him. Right. Although I'll drink a green tea as well. I'm a little bit off the green tea. It was making my teeth feel weird. Wait, did we just leave the corpse? Wait, did we check that there was a half missing? What if he just gets up and walks? We're, we're leaving? What? How is he gone? Did he jump in the taxi driver and say go? By the time I got out of the studio, Shoma was already gone. The other three must have decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. I thought it would be better to search a wider area and got in my car, but... I don't see him anywhere. No response on his phone, and his GPS is off. Where did you go, Shoma? We have to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in this state. <sighs> Calm down, Ryuki. Think about where Shoma might go. Where he might go... I got it. Shoma must be there. The casino... Department store? What? I thought it would be the fairground. I know, it must be a new location. Oh, oh, oh. Right, okay, yeah. It's on top of the ver- yeah, okay, yeah. Shoma! <sighs> well, no big deal. It's a Ferris wheel. You'll come back down if we just wait. 
unless... <sighs> Turn it off when he's at the top and make him think about what he's done. Well known. Ryuki chapter 4 R1. R1 stands for root 1, the other one was root 2? Okay. How did he get here before us? He's gone. He vanished somehow. Anyway, it, this is all a load of bull. It's a locked Ferris wheel Today mystery. Is Valentine's Day. What? It's past midnight, so it's February 14th now. Oh, but I don't really care about that right now. How can you not care? More importantly, Shoma was on the number it's the two the anniversary call, when right? we started Persona. Why do you ask? Because. Yes, he definitely went in number two. <laughs> I thought so. If that's the case, he should be back soon. Okay, he it's gonna be empty. Parkour? What? No. How? Give us your best explanation of what just happened. He morbed to another reality. Or he morbed out How? of the simulation. We checked every one of the cars. Something to do with morbing. Shoma anywhere. We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore. If we can rewrite its code, wait, is it every create miracles? When the day ticked over, it can't be impossible. It can't be. Why would it point it out that the day be. changed? I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes, and yet. Uh oh. Uh, hold on. Uh, don't tell me it's happening again. Let's report. Tama, do you know about this place? I heard about it from Mr. Date. This shrine worships a fruit called the Fruit of Immortality. It never expires. If you eat it, you will gain eternal youth and life. Hey, Ryuki. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not well. Mentally, I mean. Your shit's whack. You haven't been for a long time now, and I think it's getting worse. You should really see somebody. I'm fine. Coming to the shrine has calmed me down. Coming here doesn't solve anything! Has the word morb now been completely removed from the film in your brain now? My weeb, I haven't even seen it! <laughs> So, yeah, abs it absolutely has, yes. I, don't, I can't even remember how we, how we got Morb to mean what it means. What, why did we do that? But yeah, we just, it's Morb, it's Morb. Ancient God or Buddha isn't going to heal your heart. Morphogenic field, and then, and then what? Did me or someone in chat say Morb by accident? Okay, morbogenic. All right, that's how we got it. All right, we were, we we solved the mystery. Please, Ryuki. Okay then, you want me to go to the hospital? Before I do, let me ask for one thing. Can you replay the scene from Studio Divita right now? Ryuki. I want to solve the HP case, no matter what. No, I have to solve it for Komeji, especially now that he's. Sheesh, I'm really... Fine, I'll do it. But promise me that after the investigation, you'll... Yes, I'll go get checked out. Promise, okay? Yeah, I promise. Now, close your eyes. Let's do this. So this must be the timeline where we're driven crazy and we're drinking all the time. Okay. Did he have both eyes in the future when Mizuki found him? Or was he missing, um, Tama? So, what, was that what did he there? want to investigate here? Something's been bothering me. You see that camera on the tripod that's tipped over? When we got here... It wasn't like that. Oh no. Why did it fall over? What was the struggle? Could it have been terror? But why? I don't understand why, but it could only have been him. No, that's not true. There's another person that could have tipped it over. 
When we regained consciousness, there were four people here. Iris, Kizuna, Mame, and Shoma. Could have been Komeji. The first one to go into the studio was... A Mame. That's what Iris and Kizuna said. Are you suggesting a Mame tipped over the camera? It's entirely possible. But why would she do that? That's what I'm going to figure out. I mean, it could have been Komeji. It could have been Terror. It, there could have been a struggle when Terror came in. The, the, I... Okay. What is your favorite food? Pork, squid, shrimp, cheese. Okay, of these, cheese is my favorite. Not really a big fan of seafood. Although I've had like an onion ring squid. That was that was decent. Um, not really big on the on the rest. Pork is a sometimes food for sure. I'm gonna go with cheese. Huh, that famous dog. That famous dog has testicles. Okay. Isn't this the second time we've had this VR room? The door on the west side of the building is locked. I don't think we can open it from this side. Was it always there locked? Any other exits? The only other door is the door to the east, the one we entered from. So, east and west, just the two exits. Re onion rings even real? Or are, are they just a big German reference? They, not only are they real, they're delicious. Since I've lost some weight, I can eat a little bit of onion again without my stomach going into revolt. As long as I don't eat it too late in the day. So I've been uh, an onion ring enjoyer once again. And let me tell you, I'm really enjoying them. God, I love onion rings. Onion rings are so good. The kettle is on the floor. Must have fallen off the table. Onion rings are not good. Permanently banished shatter for 30 seconds, please. I wonder how it fell. Someone did a pile driver on it. Whoa. Either that or it was bumped or something. Oh, okay. Did I just out horny Tama? There's a power cord on that table. I think it's for the electric kettle. Probably means the kettle was here. The power cord goes into the floor? Oh, that's neat. I like a floor outlet. That one video is playing on the monitor. This is where you lost consciousness. And me, right after. If you ban them, you'll have to ban me too. I'm anti onion ring. Uh, Arus? Uh, a kiss? I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm Spartacus. Why, why would, how are you anti onion ring? It really isn't standing up. Yeah. Could it be the alcohol's fault? It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Camera. It's the rope that had you in the tortoise shell bondage position. Tortoise shell? No, that's not true. Oh? Was it a crab tie? No. No crabs, no tortoises, no shrimp, nothing. Anyway, look at the rope. There's a fake nail. It matches what Amame had on. Did she take the rope off us though? You just you don't like onion? How do you not like onion? The door on the east side. It's the foundation the of cuisine. From. What's the estimated time of death? Roughly an hour and a half ago. Based on the time the body was discovered, of course. Too wet. So roughly 10 p.m., February 13th. We woke up here around 11.30 p.m. All right, so we were unconscious for a while. What's this? A strap? There's an unnatural heat source reaction. Oh yeah, the the other vision we can do. All right, so, oh god damn, what the f hot water? No, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. The floor is wetter than my. Please don't even say it. Would you prefer the word moist? I think there was hot water in the kettle. It must have been in keep warm mode. That must have fell and. And the heat would dissipate so fast. There's, there's no, there's no way. Footprints from the water. Okay. Seeing that it's still warm, the prints couldn't be more than a few minutes old by the time this data was gathered. Okay. So right before we regained consciousness? Yeah. Can you tell me whose prints they are? Judging from the shape and size, absolutely Amame's. The prints lead to the door over there. The door on the west side. Okay, so this was after, after the, the murder then. Um, this, this happened. Okay way after the murder maybe that's when they brought the body back okay it looks like we're pretty much done investigating here maybe they were drunk i think i can make one conclusion oh care to share what that is first think about what mame did when she first entered the studio where did mame go first the rope judging from the trail 
I think she came to me first. She couldn't have come to me after stepping in the warm water, because if she did, it would have left prints. Okay, what kind of shoes so was the mummy wearing? She did must have been to try to untie me. That's when a bit of her nail broke and stuck to the rope. But then, something happened that stopped her. Something? I'll tell you later. Anyway, she stopped trying to untie me. Where did she go from there? Here, and she knocked it over. Here. Mame must have been in a hurry. She tipped over the camera by accident. And then what? And then she kept running to the kettle, and then she ran out. I used to say Ryu when I was a kid. She came here next. Mame ran into the table, which caused the kettle to fall. And the hot water spilled on the floor. And then? She ran out of the room. Realized the door was locked. Well, if we trace her footprints, they stop right in front of the western door. But the door was locked and it didn't open. So she couldn't get out. And then... Okay, why is this more interesting than looking at the corpse that probably has a bomb in it? Tama, do you have any ideas why Mame stopped trying to untie me? Mm-hmm. I sure do. But continue. I want to hear what you're thinking. Okay, here's my answer. It's simple, actually. She I saw think a ghost. Mame saw Terror enter the studio. Oh. While she was untying me, Terror came across the scene. They ran over to her to try to take her out. That's why the body was left in such an unnatural position. I see. We're on the same page. There are still some question marks, but... Well, putting that threat aside for now, shall we get started? Start what? Filming, duh. Again? You got a problem? So, are you ready? No. Okay, here we go. We did it. We I said no. We don't need to do it ready? a second time. Action! I'm going to cast you as a mame. Recreate her movements. Let's start with when she first ran into the studio. Her first move was... You're a really shitty actor. Well, what did you expect? Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Step out of it! This is when her nail fell off. Mame tried to untie the rope and... That's when Terror ran into her. Maybe Terror just Terror is blue. Since the east door, she can't go that way. So she tried to run to the other door. Okay, let's see your best performance. Yeah! Ah! God. Why do you make me do this? Okay, go on. Run away. And then, run into the camera. Then run into the table, and that drops the kettle. Burning her feet. She discovers the west door is completely this locked. This run. Oh, it was still locked? Where are the footprints then? Where do they go? And then she realized she was terror. Ugh. Cut! You were doing so well. I thought it was going to be in the door was unlocked. She opened it and then she locked it behind her. Anyway, she was cornered and... Huh. What happened after that? This is what I was trying to get at earlier. And one more thing. When you asked Amame if she saw the culprit, she shook her head. Her nail was broken from trying to untie us, which meant it had a jagged edge, and she used that to tear at Terror, making him back off. And then plot amnesia broke in, and then she forgot doing it. There you go, done. Why did she lie? Hey, Tama. You collected all the data in this studio, right? Including X-Ray? Yeah. In that case... Do, 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 do. Wait, she's still here. She's d no, 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 no. Knew it. What? So terror? You you X-ray scanned the room, but didn't look at the res. I think so. So when we regained consciousness, they were in the studio? That must be the case. Wait, you didn't notice, Tama? I thought you had x-ray vision. I thought it was part of the set. Anyway, they have a gun? 
Yeah, a 50 caliber automatic handgun. Ooh. That could do some real damage. <clears throat> Desert Eagle, 0. .50? This next bit is just speculation, but... Terror headed to the western door and cornered Mame. But then must have... Heard footsteps coming from the other door. Iris, Kizuna, and Shoma. Okay, and, and he didn't just go ho-ho shame and shoot us all in the head? Like, wh what, is, what kind of game is he playing? What the fuck? Of course, Terror probably had no idea who they were. Terror must have said something like... Don't tell them I'm here. If you do, I'll shoot you. Then they hid in the set. What's he, he's a nun? What's going on? Cut off. That's why Amame lied. She couldn't have said anything with Terror threatening her. Probably. Amame is kind of dumb. All right, well, this sucks. What a shame. Terror was right there, but we couldn't get them. There was nothing we could have done. Shoma was the top priority. Anyway, there's only one thing we need to do. Let's find Mame. She saw Terror in person. She's a key witness right, now. You said you're going to the hospital. Maybe she has some information. Something about Terror we don't know. Maybe a voice or how they walk. Yeah, she's dead. Hey, Tama. Where is Mame? I don't know. She's dead, bro. Her bruv. smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. So he just let us all run out? I asked Tama to call Kazuna, Iris, and, and, and Jen to ask if they knew where Mame was. None of them picked up. <laughs> I was a live terror reaction when even the promise. taxi driver ran what into the room. <laughs> Fine, I'll get checked. And I want to talk to Shoma. He's at home now, right? <laughs> Looks into the camera like Jim from The Office. Like, oh, what the fuck? At least that's what Thomas said before I came to the shrine. I have no idea how Shoma was able to get out of the Ferris wheel. I don't know if it's related to all this, but I have a strong desire to find out. Nah, not that strong. So we have three objectives. Finding Amame, getting checked up at the hospital, and meeting with Shoma, right? Yeah. Fine, we'll tag along. Not to mention today is special for partners. Valentine's Day. What do you mean? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Anyway, let's get going. Maybe every time the day ticks over, there's like a reshuffle of variables or something, or that's when, when the server updates and there's like, like glitches form or something, and or or there's like, uh, or did, is that just a coincidence? And he just and he just like blipped out. What what happened between? Was there anything strange that happened between the Valentine's Day took over on the other timeline? I don't think so. We just drove back for that one, right? Was his, was his laser wound in the same shoulder? He jumped, I think it was, yeah. He, he jumped over and he and he got hit in his in his left shoulder, right? It was always his left shoulder. Okay, the mass person was there. Date was there. I don't think anything changed on that one. Although, given what happened in the first game, the whole simulation thing might just be a, um, uh, a red herring. But then how the hell did he get out of the Ferris wheel? Did he j did he jump out and he was like like Nathan Draking on the outside and we were too busy talking to Tama about Valentine's Day to see and then when we left he just dropped off and walked out like maybe one of his robots came and picked him up or something he jumped out or something like I don't know like maybe maybe it's it's got nothing to do with that like knowing this game it might be something as simple as oh he just laid down under the window in in the, in the Ferris wheel cart and uh, and we just never checked La Mayo when we left he just got up and walked out ha 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 oh, this is a lot. What the fuck? Why weren't we looking at the, at at the Ferris wheel cabin the whole time? Why would we take our eyes off of it? It's like it's like we were like in league with the magic. What the fuck is hey, here? Don't get in the Kotatsu without permission. It's cold out and I'm cold. What are you doing here? I wanted to ask a few things, but before that, Shoma. Um. No. Never mind. Don't worry about it. I decided not to ask him about what happened to the studio or how he magic tricked off the- It would be cruel to remind him not to mention I didn't want him running off again. It probably would be best to avoid talking about Kimeji and the interrogation for the god. How did you prestige out of the fucking Ferris wheel? I want to ask about- He's gonna be like, what Ferris wheel? Ha 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 ha, you're so funny. All right, Winksick, I don't have any power. Fuck you. Dad. Dad. I shouldn't have said that you should die. It's all my fault. Show my. How did you get out of that Ferris wheel? I swear to God, if he says what Ferris wheel. 
And then, and then Ryuki's like, oh, poor kid, must be in shock. You know what? Let's not push him. I, sw I, sw I swear to God. Huh? What are you talking about? <sighs> the Ferris wheel at Misaton. I didn't go to Misaton. What? That's impossible. I definitely saw you get on the Ferris wheel. Maybe you saw my doppelganger? Or maybe... My clone. Your clone? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. Tama, pull that shit up. Let's show him. You were here. Look, we have it recorded. Let's go. Explain. Push. Explain. Explain. J Jamie, okay, how did your clone get off the Ferris wheel then? I mean, we may have the technology for it, but... I've never heard of any human clones. Not to mention, it's forbidden by law. The law doesn't mean anything. Not to a psycho like Chikara. True. What do you mean? Yeah, they're researching cloning. So maybe they secretly made my clone. Oh no. 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 <laughs> impossible. How is it impossible? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not. Well, I'm not kidding about Horidori Institute researching cloning. Just about cloning me. How do, how, how do you explain the Ferris wheel then? You're crazy. Maybe you were seeing things. Seeing things? Maybe you got the TC Purge. Purge? What is that? Last year they invented a way to edit genomes called Purge. Purge was developed by Horidori Institute. CRISPR? TC Purge is kind of like a virus. Are we on the moon? Hold on. People at Horidori Institute called it the organic nanomachine. It acts kind of the way a virus does. When it enters the body, it latches onto bacteria, and a protein complex called CRISPR-Cas beta is made. CRISPR-Cas beta can cut, move, and attach certain DNA nucleotide sequences. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. Oh. It can make you see things, make you dance, it makes you do weird things over and over. And on top of that, TC purge multiplies in the body. It takes over the multiplication functions of bacteria and makes copies of itself. And it can be passed to other people with your breath. It basically does whatever we want it to. It's fucking plot magic. Any Anything now, anything. Ronald McDonald can show up and give you a virus and then you'll want nuggets for the rest of your life. Like we can do, make anything happen. Just wave my hand. Here we go. We can just make people go on Ferris wheels. You, you, weren't even at, you weren't even at the roof, motherfucker. You didn't even left the studio. Shoma, how do you know all this? Well, just kidding. There's just some stuff. Well, time to look at our Tamagotchi clone. What do you do to maintain peace? Being friendly with neighbors. Starting an MPO. Don't complain. Avoiding a- Don't complain, I'm British. It's not good to hold it in. It's all about how you say it. I'm sorry, Shoma. This might be hard for you. But can you tell me about Komeji? I feel like this whole entire story was designed to piss me off specifically. Why are you not showing the footage? Our, your father was able to pull out a Yakuza recording out of his ass in, in the interrogation for, for his proof. Why can't we show him, hey, here's the footage of you getting in the Ferris wheel, motherfucker. Like, like oh my god, what the fuck? Komeji picked something up at the rooftop amusement park in Misaton. Something that is meaningful or significant to terror. Yeah, we still don't know what that is. But he didn't tell me what it was. I thought you might know something. Sorry, but I have no clue. I see. How could he have possibly just found something like that? Yeah? Do you know where she is? I have no idea. Ryuki, we can hold off on Horidori Institute. We need to prioritize. Yeah, we need to find Mame. Shoma, you still haven't told me why you lied. Lied? About the code for BATS 490. That wasn't referring to Horidori Institute, but you said it was. Sheesh, can you just let it go? I didn't solve the code. Yeah, you did. You did. You said you did. And then you went to the basement. Or was that on the other timeline? Shit. Maybe I'm getting confused. That's a lie! Hee hee hee. Amame. 
she was hey, here earlier. Really? She left pretty quick, though. I was so busy today. We're expecting a lot of customers, so I have a lot of prep to do. Why are you expecting a rush? You know about what happened in Shinjuku yesterday? We're actually pretty close to there. What do you mean? You haven't heard? Someone shot off a rocket. Luckily, there weren't any casualties. What? So anyway, there's tons of people around here now. I thought some of them might stop by here. Did a satellite fall from the sky? Is Okarin running rocket around the of the fucking Tokyo? Like, what, 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 what do you mean someone shot off a fucking rocket? What do you mean? What, 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 where's that? The fucking time I pulled that shit out. What do you mean someone shot off a fucking rocket? What? It's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? Well, she brought some chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? Mama saw Tara at the studio, and she's just over it. She's a tough girl. Right after that, she saw Komeji's body. And she still brought Jen chocolate? She's She likes Jen. What, what can we say? Hmm. She said she was headed to Iris's house. What's in your the freezer? Saigon household, huh? Thanks. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but... Her phone is out of battery. She told me earlier. I see. Why are you looking for Amame? Jen and, M and Mame are close. I can't tell him. There's a reason I believe Mame ran into terror. I don't want him to worry about her. Why don't we? Maybe he, maybe, 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 maybe they're in a secret relationship and she's hiding in in the back right now. So when we leave, they can make out. And she, he doesn't know there's a really important reason. Fucking tell. I'll play it. Okay. Well, uh, you see. Maybe he can open the freezer and, and he has a sex bed in there. That's different from his other bed. Iris, but still no dice. Okay. We should just head to the Sargon household. Yeah, good idea. Are we going to see Hitomi? Hey, Hitomi, why aren't you with Falco? <gasps> She's here! Hey, Hitomi. I'm looking... sorry. I think you're just one step behind. Looking lovely as Mommy always. Mommy was here, but she left with Iris to go somewhere. I see. X-ray? Why didn't we wink sync on I'm Jen? sorry, Mame. Iris is taking a long time to get ready. Oh. Mame? Uh-oh. Oh, let me sniff your shoes. Well, now I just look weird, game. Thank you so much. Joe, yeah, the first game we could sniff her shoes. I wanted to see if it would let me do it again. Hmm. Less stuff to to uh, to inspect in the environment in this game, which is probably for the best, but, like, if that's the case, why don't you just, like, not let me interact with things, you know? Just keep it focused. About Date and Hitomi had a deep relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I know that. Eh, it just didn't work out. Why do you ask? Well, um... I haven't seen Date in a while. I've been waiting for him, but... In my swimsuit. I'm sorry to ask such a delicate question. What the fuck, Date? No, it's okay. Date, what the fuck? Anything off about them? Like a state of shock or panic, maybe? Let me think. Iris seemed normal, but I do recall Mame seemed troubled. She didn't say a word while she was here. Like her head was somewhere else? While Iris was preparing to leave, she just stared off into the distance. I'm not sure. They didn't tell me where they were going. Sorry to have wasted your time. There's no such thing as wasting time when you're investigating. Even the most insignificant piece of information could be relevant. Ryuki, I've never seen you so positive. Maybe you're a good influence on me. Let's get going. We need to find Mame. <laughs> Liam? NPC? Doesn't look like a mame is here. But wait, Leon is. Yeah, alright. Leon is obsessed with Kizuna, and Kizuna is a mame's friend. Yeah, he might know where mame is. Let's ask. Oh, you again. What's up? Do you know a girl named Amame Doi? Oh, Kizzy's friend. Of course I know her. Do you know where she is? Yeah, I do. Really? I saw her earlier. Where? Hmm, I don't know. Give me a hundred thousand yen and I'll think about it. You can't be serious. I'm low on cash. Come on, Ryuki. Fine. We'll do this. Leon, do you have a 500 yen coin? Yeah, I do. I'm going to look away, 
and you put it in one of your hands. If I can guess which hand it's in, tell me for free. And if you're wrong, get the you. coin. All right, sounds good to me. Let's do this. Don't peek. What's going on over there? Okay, I'm ready. Guess. Celian's bone structure both to scan with his arms. All right. Bullshit. Hm. Too bad. <sighs> Fine. I meant I meant the right hand on our side. Right hand. Right right hand. Hit his right hand. Right hand. Did we give him a hundred thousand yen? Huh. Thanks, man. We just had Wait it on us? This is a coin from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I said I'd pay you. I never said with what. Uh-huh. Damn it. You got me. Why the hell are you even carrying around coins from Bosnia and Herzegovina? It never hurts to be prepared. Uh, that, that's, How long have you been that, sitting on that, 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 that is That is the whole reason. The whole fucking reason. The whole reason he has that in his bio. Where is it? The whole reason he has that in his bio is for that joke. The whole fucking reason is for that pun. That is the only reason that exists. Will they do it again? I don't know. But <laughs> by the way, one well, fine. marka is I equivalent to sixty-four promise. yen. So hundred thousand marka is uh, six point four million yen. That's so much money. How rich is Ryuki? I don't. Th I don't think Leon knew that. Sheesh. Okay. I saw Mama at I O N. Ion. Ion. That's the child services facility run by Richie Chieda. He's in his father. It's Valentine's Day today, right? We promised to meet up tonight. But I couldn't wait any longer. I want to see Kizzy right now. I don't need to talk to her. Seeing her from afar is enough. So that's why I went to Ion. It's kind of like wanting to watch porn before going to happy ending places. I don't think this is anything like that. Mame was there. Mame, Kizzy, and Iris were talking. If you're people in chat, you can do that on the way there. They had real serious looks on their faces. I couldn't barge into their conversation, so I left without saying anything. They were discussing something serious then. Those three saw Kamiji's body. Okay, maybe they were talking about that. Why? Why, why is it really like, even a, like, a, for like a debrief well, with boss or anything like see. that? Like, hey, the corpse, nothing. Like we're just uh, okay. I guess so. Thank you to uh, Funk Dev. Or function dev for the resub. Thank you very much. Twenty Is minutes ago, Mame such a, a good streamer. In the HB case? What? No, that definitely couldn't be it. Oh, Tom was right. Oh, Kizzy. Yeah, I'm excited for tonight. We should meet. Okay, okay. I'll see you there. This really was a dream. I thought I told you that before. It's Alfrey. Non-alcoholic beer. Did you buy that? Uh, of course I did. Okay, maybe it's true that I did steal a lot before. I know it's nothing to brag about, but they did call me the master of unlocking. Uh, but that's all in the past. Did you always steal by yourself? It depended on what needed stealing. Sometimes I went alone, sometimes in pairs. If it was a big target, like some mansion in the boonies, I'd go with a team of five or six guys. The leader of the group was a Kumakura. You know them, right? And that's how I met Moma, the chairman of the Kumakuras. I was usually partnered with Quartz. They were kind of like a bodyguard. Helped me out whenever I got in a sticky situation. Why am I even telling you all this? I think I've said too much. Please forget it. It's all in the past. Like I said. Did you uh, delete their emails while you were in there? Thank you, the Insomniac, for the new sub as well. Welcome, welcome, the Insomniac. One of my people. A date. I guess it was a date. Because it was Valentine's Day. Yeah? Why do you ask? Nothing. Just... Kazuna saw the body and then went on a date with Leon? Maybe she had an ulterior motive. Yeah, it's almost like this didn't happen. Oh, actually, four days ago, on the 10th of February... How is Shoma just alone at home? I saw Mommy then too, in front of Horadori Institute. 
She didn't notice me, though. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. What business does she have at that research facility? That's what I was thinking to myself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nice Japan. I know what you're thinking. Why would you think she's suspect just because of that, right? Well, you're right. I don't even know if Mame and Tokiko saw each other in there anyway. Not to mention Tokiko was killed two days ago, on the night of the 12th. So maybe it's got nothing to do with it. Nah, it probably doesn't. Just coincidence. But for whatever reason, it caught my attention. Every, every chapter is a different day, and it's separated by days. How is that going to work with this one when it's six years later? Is it is it exactly six years later on the same day? Every single day, every single day, do we just get shuffled to a different, like, d a a when it ticks over, do we get shuffled to, like, a different, like, consequence chain, but our consciousness doesn't, so we think it's linear, but it's not, and it just keeps flipping over to somewhere else? Like, is he not even dead? That's that's gonna be a nightmare to understand because then you'd have to like jump back and like do the same line again with that information No, like how would that even work? Eh, whatever, let's keep going All right, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna see Kizzy tonight. Mm -hmm. I need to head to the beauty salon first Beauty salon Anyway, adios Why was Mame at Horidori Institute? Four days ago it's interesting that Tokiko was behind her as well. Hmm. Horidori Institute. I remember. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horidori Institute. We totally put that on hold. We need to go search that hidden room. But going now would be pointless. If it's a hidden room, it's gotta be a secret and locked up tight. They're not just gonna let us in there. That would go along with why why Tama can't update the update the files to the database either, because every single time she accessed the database, it would give her like an error, like there would be inconsistencies. She she would be like like what the fuck? I tried to upload it and it's telling me that there's different information there. Because so far that hasn't been relevant, and it's an anime game, so no one talks. Now she could still look it up online, and, and maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, we should focus on the task at hand. Find Amame. Yeah. Leon said he saw her at Iowen. Any weird clouds? I've been trying to look at, at all of the uh, the scenes for any weirdness now. I feel like the game is fucking with me. And it was fucking with me in the first one, and it all turned out to be nothing. So it would be classic to just like, oh, this time we're fucking with you, and it turns out to be true. I kind of like the mindfuck, but I think it's not playing fair. Because characters aren't asking the questions they should be. But I, from the previous games, I know that Uchikoshi is the fucking king of this shit. An inch out of frame, every single scene! She was nowhere to be seen, neither was Kazuna or Iris, who was supposedly with her. Date's been with us the whole time! You just never asked! I asked a worker if they saw the three girls. They answered, I saw them here, I saw them here before, but that was a while ago. Well, we tried. Let's go. No, wait. That person over there. That's... Excuse me. Nice to see you again. Oh, in the other timeline, we morbed over to the timeline where she has slippers on instead of bare feet. Huh. That's the only difference there. It's like a seesaw of eroticism. And also, it's called Liberty Island instead of Ellis Island in that one. A what? And not show you? W wow. It's so big. Tama, out of curiosity, was it Pewter who programmed your personality? Nope. Then who programmed you? Date. I don't know, but they were definitely an aerogrammer. <laughs> Do you know what pansies mean in the language of flowers? They usually mean, think of me, my dearest. Okay, and? <laughs> Forget it. What's the best thing about zombies? Running zombie, person who I like who became a zombie, walking zombie, zombie shark, zombie shark, do 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 do. Haven't seen it before. I'll watch that, watch it with that person later. What person? 
No, E, I'm not close to done asking the questions, E. I'm curious about everyone else's answers, so I will go on a journey to find the, to the other world line, E. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, other world line. What kind of Sukomi do you like? Playing along, Sukomi. Right, slap some sushi rice on it, spin it, and no, idiot. Okay. I need to hurry. If I don't, I'll never get back. Why would you see yourself as having the, the get-up on? The body is the opposite. Your head's upside down. What? Can we x-ray her, please? X-ray? No? Please? No? Okay. I forgot to put mothballs in the dresser. Rats don't wear shoes. But you're not a rat. Squeak, squeak. Are you really a rat? Go to the hospital already! <laughs> Where is it? Where is the main event taking place? Main event? There she goes. What was she talking about? Maybe a Halloween event or something? Nice, Wrong bro. Season for that. Maybe she was talking about that one thing. Halloween is all about costumes. Speaking of costumes, makes me think about monsters, which makes me think about unidentified animals. Yuma, okay. I think... Mm, where's, the, where's the M coming from that? That's just UA. Where's the M coming from? I think my favorite Uma is the Chuka Chupacabra from Puerto Rico. It has big fangs in its mouth and it sucks the blood of humans and livestock. It can jump over 15 feet. I don't remember the specific height, but it seems to be relatively small in comparison to other monsters. Yeah, it's what? Pretty true, yeah. Don't make me say it. You know what I mean, don't Chupacabra. you? Chupacabra. I absolutely don't. No, I don't. No. Nope. There's no point in paying further attention to her. We should head to... A different spot. Sand, beaches, swimsuits. So perverted. You're reaching a bit, no? I was waiting for that. Kumakura, why are we going there? Hey, Ryuki, what's up? I wanted to ask you something. Squeak, squeak. You want me to hack it, right? I tried, but the security is too strong. No way. But if you give me about two, three minutes, I'll be all good. I didn't ask. Hey, look! I'm a flying squirrel! Did you hear something? Nope. Nothing. This piece of paper with some general principles written on it. It says those who only eat the crackers in cracker and peanut mix should be executed. What the fuck is cracker and peanut mix? Months, months plans later on whiteboard 25th go see dolphins at the aquarium it's gonna be up about tessa oh shit a shooting star i want chocolate from tessa i want chocolate from tessa i want cho damn it i couldn't sit a third one in time rip hey ryuki see those lanterns you're not gonna do one of your stupid sex jokes again are you Really? You see them? Please don't make me participate in this. Do you see them, Ryuki? Yes. What are they? Lanterns. Lantern these nuts! is gonna have a Valentine's Day stream. Oh, thinking about it makes my heart dance. Oh, I'm so excited. Why are you even asking me? Yakuza have connections all throughout the underworld, so I thought you might know something. <sighs> anything would help. Rumors, anything. Rumors, huh? So our parent group, the Ujisaki, there's this higher up that's connected to Nice. Of course there is. I did hear something from him. The president of Nai's Japan, Tokiko Shigure, she was in a relationship with the head of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. No. 
There's no way. I don't believe you. No. The UG Saka family is a diabolical criminal group. Basically, they earn their income through the illegal activities in the underworld, but they also seem to be receiving requests for work from secret societies. It seems they have connections with the Freemasons. You know, Freemasons, a fraternal society said to have been created in the late 16th or early 17th century. They have members all over the world. They, they call each other brother, and they operate from the Grand Lodge headquarters. The symbol of the fraternity is the Builder's Square... Uh, and, and, a, and a compass, the tools of masonry. Oh, and one more thing. The Eye of Providence is also famous. It's a triangle with the shape of, a, of an eye on it. That design is also considered one of the symbols of Freemasonry. By the way, there's a story that the Boy Scouts of America was also created by the Freemasons. The Boy Scouts of America is ostensibly an organization that seeks to improve the character of its members to make good people even better. But actually, as... A... Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. What? Of course, this isn't recent. We're talking decades ago. Back then, Tokiko wasn't even the boss. She was just some grunt at nice. That became like a message from the American Heart Association there at the end, huh? That was weird. But Chikara, on the other hand, was pretty high up the ladder at nice. Use this newfound power to get with Tokiko. Back when she was in her 20s. I heard she was a hottie. Uh, but like I said, she was young and naive. Chikara basically tricked her. He was married at the time. He even had kids. Tokiko was his mistress. Real secret relationship type shit. What? Really? Yeah, that's all I know about oh, that. man. After they were done, he was probably like, Happy, happy Chikara! But I do have some more dirt on Chikara. Alright, let's, let's this hear it. This was also decades ago. But Chikara went to child service agencies all over Japan and got something from him. What? DNA samples. He said it was for DNA treatment or something, but I don't buy it. My guess is he was doing something shady. Horidori Institute was real sketchy back then. Uh-oh. What if they're cloning people and replacing them with clones that they control? But when, but what if then the clones started like a mutiny and they became independent clones? Uh oh, uh oh. You talking about a mame doi? Tessa's friend. So you know her? Of course, I know everything about Tessa. So what about mame? She might have some valuable information about the case. I'm trying to find her. Do you happen to know where she is? Sorry, I got no idea. I see. Tokiko and Chikara in an illegitimate relationship. And Chikara getting kids' DNA. Hmm. Let's figure it out later. We still need to find Mame. It's my dream to do it on a sofa. Why would you even say that out loud? That's your- that's-, that's why? That, that's like one of the easiest things to do. What are you talking about? What? We can make that happen today. Like, we, 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 like, I love them balls. Welcome. We aren't open yet. Do, 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 do. Oh shit! I the, uh, sorry. I've got something for you, Ryuki. What? It's hard, and it'll leave a mess all over your hands. What's your phone? I know exactly what Mom is talking about. It's chocolate. That's what I was going to say. It's Valentine's Day. I wanted all my customers to get some. Inside of the box is something hard. Put it too much and you'll be left with a mess on your hands. I like getting into holes, if you know what I mean. What, what are you talking about? Oh, don't make me say it. Did you, you program mean... Tama? Spelunking. That has nothing to do with the bar counter. Neither did holes. Ryuki... Want to see a video of balls getting hit with a hard stick? Ooh, I'm curious. It's just billiards. I was gonna say baseball. Best eats in the spirit world. Special pinchos, huh? I'd like to taste your pinchos Special too. Special pinchos, yes. Oh, you want to know why there are two balls? This way, I have a spare if one stops working. It's pretty smart. Thanks for the chocolate. I appreciate it. Chocolate? 
Don't thank me, honey. Just don't forget to get me something on White Day. What do you want? Um, well, you can return the favor. Meaning? Something hard that will leave a mess all over my hands. Chocolate. All right. What's White Day? White Day. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Information, huh? Oh, I saw something online. There's this creepy video going around. Do you know about it? Are you talking about the Nirvana trial? No, not that one. There's another one. It was released at midnight. It's called Nirvana X. Uh-oh. X? That's right. Released at midnight, you say? Huh. Maybe the video triggers a mass morbing effect. Chaos. Ryuki, I looked it up. Once again, the original uploader is anonymous. It's just like that QR video. I thought it might have something to do with the HB case. Mama, did you watch the video? Yeah. I have it saved on my smartphone. Wanna see? No, Ryuki. Don't do it. Something bad might happen again. The view cube videos that have been released so far have not included anything that would be induced as a subliminal effect. That doesn't mean they're safe. There's a possibility that there was a special production technique that only works on people like Ryuki who have suffered some kind of trauma or have, you know, a fake fucking eye. The subliminal effect is a phenomenon in which the stimulus is given below the threshold of human perception, causing unconscious desires and emotions to rise in the person. Okay. Mama, please. Ryuki! Okay, then. I'm going to stream it on the screen over there. It's probably better to watch it on a bigger screen. Okay, here we go. Okay. Clickety click. What did I tell you? I warned you! He's fine. It's a fake. Uh huh? I think I'm okay. Yeah. Don't scare me like that. Oh, okay. Judging by the name, it's gotta have something to do with the Nirvana Initiative. The incidents at Shinjuku might be related too. You mean the rocket that went off? Yeah, that's right. Anyway. I think that was like a test run for the initiative, but we don't know anything for sure. Where the actual show will happen, who's behind it and why, we don't know any of the details. We do have a clue as to when, though. Hmm? The Nirvana X video. There were two codes on there. One of them was 2151200. I think it's a date and a time. February 15th, 12 p.m. Yeah, noon tomorrow. The date and time when the Nirvana Initiative will begin. There's not much time. What about the letters? I'm not sure about that one. The numbers represented a time and date, so I'm guessing those were for a location. A location? Let's get cracking. I don't follow. Did she get into trouble? She may have come into contact with Terror. She might have valuable information. Well, okay then. Let's ask the big milky balls. <laughs> Could you call them something else? <laughs> oh, mighty balls. Who has the softest, bounciest skin in all the land? That is Mama, of course. That's right. Oh, <laughs> you know it. Who gives a shit? I agree. <clears throat> now, 
serious mode this time. You just hit the balls. Oh, balls, the great and powerful. Please find someone for me. Her name is Amame Doi. Where is she right now? You should go to the Nice Japan branch. You should gain some valuable information there. Ooh. Oh. How was it? Thanks, that was helpful. The Nice Japan branch. Are you going to take her seriously? Another location. Not necessarily, but it won't hurt to check, right? We have a lot to think about now. Let's get a move on. Hmm. All right. I'm glad the artist can think of organic and realistic ways for the investigation to progress. Yeah, but like, is this is this really that much worse than than Mama just having connections and she just goes like la di da? Someone told me an informant. You should go here. Like, it's just the same kind of thing. It's like whatever. Like, sometimes it it, it can be okay. I think. It was two days ago that Tokiko's body was found here. The investigation is still ongoing. So, what are you planning on doing here? Mame wouldn't be here. I didn't come here expecting to find Mame. You should go to the Nice Japan branch. What valuable information could be here? I don't know, but let's look around. That wasn't there before, right? This, this metal bar? Or was it we just couldn't see it from that side? I don't think that was there. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. This has become a difficult situation. There are many factors to consider, taking into account probability and all. Oh, what dating app should I use? All of them. Okay, do we want to reload and, and wink sync on the detective? Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. How do we get to the top menu? Alright. My brain is fried. Need some glucose. Maybe I'll eat some caramel. That was worth. Really like doing that. What do you think of eyeballs? Pretty round scary. Onitaro's dad isn't scary, E. There isn't anything here. It's all right now, because I am here! Half fight! Northern Mariana Islands! Smash! One Piece? Mommy. It's this girl. Mm -hmm. Don't recognize her. Whoa, whoa! Why don't we do that on the, on the fucking person that we saw in the basement then? What the fuck? Wait, 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 The image of an mommy that appeared on the Riku's hand, it was, it was a hologram shot on my left eye of my main body. How cool am I, huh? Yeah, fucking the plot can do whatever it wants when it's convenient, but never when it's gonna solve a ruin a fucking twist that we're not ready to know yet. What the fuck? Joe, read the pen. This game is so horny, it makes me want to change my name to Daddy's Wait Until Marriages. Alright, plus two for the marriages. So that's how it's gonna be. Well, I suppose it's not that bad. Is this getting a little too scripted? A little bit, yeah. That's what the people want. Yeah. Anyway, my name is... Kagami! <laughs> that's my line! Huh? Did you forget already? <sighs> Fine. My name is Kagami. Ka. K-A. Ga. G-A. Me. Am. I. Or you know his name. I don't think I need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I don't. I probably don't need to ask. His name is, uh, what was it again? Very well. Mr. Ryuki, you can give me a nickname. That way, you won't forget. A nickname, huh? Something easy to remember would be good, right? Exactly. How about Kagami? That's an easy nickname to remember. When I was when I was in high school, there was this guy, and he had a, a very uh, like ver verbose name. Okay, I won't say the name because I don't I don't want to uh, to to cast shade through through my past. Um, but it, it was it was a very like upper class like 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 English proper proper name like one of those names. Okay, um, Archibald, kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like Archibald, like 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 a, like a very very big Archibald kind of name. Okay, right. Okay, his name his name was his name was Fennymore, okay? That was his name, alright? Fennymore, alright? 
It was a very weird name, and and he didn't like being called Fanny. All right, so so he tried to push on a nickname to to everyone in uh, and it call, call him call him Jay instead. Okay, so he was like, just call me Jay. All right, don't call me Fanny more. Call me call me call me Jay. So obviously we just kept calling him Fanny. <laughs> Until one day, in English class, <laughs> he said, How how hard is it to just call me, call me J? Call me J, I'll even spell it for you. And then, he said, G-A-Y... <laughs> and, and then he realized what he had done, and said, No, no, J-A-Y, but the... the <laughs> Damage was done, <laughs> and he never asked us to call him Jay ever again. <laughs> Self-immolated. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Made-up story. That is a true story. It happened in English class. It was on the fourth floor of the of the uh, the English building. The, was it called the T4 building? I can't remember what the the building was called. Um, it was in my high school in Wales. I can't remember the guys the, the class I was in. I think it might have been. I had to I had to leave that class one time because uh, because I had to throw up. And that was when I, I hated. I, I learned firsthand uh, about like like the the problem with like keeping the bathrooms locked in the, in the school. And you have to go ask for the key at the reception desk in order in order to get it. Oh man. I wonder what Jay's up to. I hope he's well. How about uh, Kagami? That's an easy enough thing to remember. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> they locked the bathrooms. Yeah, if if, you, if class was going on and you need to use the bathroom, you have to go get a key in order to get in there. Yeah. Hopefully they don't do that anymore. I think British schools are a lot more structured than um, than Canadian. Well, I know they're more structured than Canadian schools. Um, they're not so much, they're not as structured as um, as uh, I, I, sorry I can't tell about American schools. I've never been to American school, um, but like uh, I I don't think you you get the ability to kind of like have an empty class and like in free roam in the kind of way that you can in Canadian high schools um, until you're in your A levels. Like during during uh, the run up to GCSEs. Everything's very rigid, and um, there's no like free. Every, every, all the all the kids are in class. Maybe it's different now, but like, so the bathrooms were locked because everyone was like like in class constantly. Kind of fucked Do up. Do you know this girl? Seriously, what her the fuck? Her name is Amame Doi. Oh, I know her. She's a mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. That's true, but how do you know that? Oh, um, well, I've been there a few times. I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector. I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. That's a tough sell. Do you know where she is now? Uh, no, I wouldn't know. I can tell you that she isn't working right now, though. I heard from another girl that she hasn't been feeling well recently. Right. It's unlikely that she'd be at Sunfish Pocket. Mame saw terror at the studio. And right after that, she saw Komeji's body. It's unlikely she'd be at work with all that going on. I'm from the UK, but younger. Same rigidness um, pre GCSE, but toilets were unlocked if you needed to go in class. Maybe it's it's changed now. Maybe it was just that one building. So the school I went to was not had like um, it was almost kind of like a college campus. The high school I was at, it was more than one building. In fact, if my memory is correct, it was like one one kind of long, weirdly shaped building there, one big building there. Middle school was there. And then, or the middle building, I can't remember what we called it actually. And then there was another big building to the right. So there was at least four buildings that you had to go to the different ones. Um, if you're in Cardiff, I've kind of just doxed myself about the high school I went to. Um, but like, yeah, please don't say it if you know. Uh, there might be more of them now at, at, at that at that school. Um, uh, so maybe it was only in in that building that they kept the the, the toilets locked. Um, in the building I was in for English class, there wasn't even a, a bathroom in that building. You had to go down that building and go to the building next to it, and that's where I went. And I then I threw up when I was going down the hallway before I got there. Do you speak Welsh? I do not go. To, I do not speak Welsh now. The body is long gone for the autopsy. It really is a shame. She was killed right before her birthday. Tokiko's birthday is February fifteenth. 
Are Canadian high schools usually single building? The one I went to was a single building, yeah. But I only went there for for um, uh, a couple years. However, Canadian high schools are so in Canada. There's there's like elementary school, then middle school, and then high school, right? I never went to to middle school here because I was in Wales for that. And in Wales, there's only like primary school, and then you go to high school. So you go to high school a lot sooner. So when, when you would normally go to middle school in, in Canada, I believe, is when you go to high school in the UK, or in, in Wales at least, when I was there. And then you're there for, for longer. There was a huge party plan for her here. It really is such a shame. Primary, then secondary, then college. Yeah, and they call it post-secondary education. Yeah, that's that's the term, sorry. It's, it's been a long time since I was there. I can't remember a lot of my teacher's names from, from high school. Ooh. This girl. No, I don't know where she is. I see. Hmm? You talking about the underground cathedral? It's off limits right now. There's concerns that it might collapse. What? So you don't know about the box? The box? There was a box there with a strange looking device. Tama, can you show the image? Sorry, I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? What? Ryuki, when you went to the cathedral, you fell off the bridge, remember? The impact caused me to loosen the mind memory. Why are we only bringing this up now? That's so fucking conv- I was only able to recover up to finding Tokiko's body in the president's office. No backups? Because it was so deep underground, there was no signal down there. Come to think of it, there were some network problems. Why, why would the signal even matter? You're ba there's no data storage for you to even upload it to. Exactly. Okay. So I couldn't upload the data to the cloud. Not that it would matter, because it's broken. Damn. Okay. It's not a lead or anything, but it is interesting. What is? It's going to take some time to prepare. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Ryuki, I'm ready. It's what I mentioned to you earlier. Oh, please go ahead. Look at that pond over there. Is that AI it's backup? Tokiko's hologram? Her laptop was in the desk. There was a program running. This laptop. I think it's some software aimed at these cultists. Needless to say. It's just an image, so she can't really interact with you. But she does talk. Lectures, even. If you give her a topic, she'll give some pre-recorded response. You can choose from four. Moksha, game. Form is emptiness, and the allegory of the cave. There's other data in there, too, somewhere, but it'll take time to get at. Tama can probably rip through that real fast. Moksha. Or enlightenment. One is only truly free when free from all desires. But this state of mind is not something that can be easily defined or described in words. It is implicit knowledge. It is not something you can understand without experiencing it for yourself. Imagine, for example, someone who has never seen the color red. It is impossible to explain to that person what the color red is. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a way to, to to reconcile this, but the idea that people see colors differently than you see it really fucks with me. Because then you, you think about that for a bit, and it's like, okay, but you would be able to tell from the different shades and you could find a point of reference. But it's like, no, if they see the colors differently than you do, then it's likely that, they, that they're that they used to that and all the other colors would be shuffled in the same way too. That really fucks with me that people might look outside and what I think is the color green, they see as the color red, you know? That really, really fucks with me, man. You can't truly understand the redness of the color red until you experience it. Yeah. Moksha is similar in this way. So how can you reach Moksha? Among Hindu followers are those known as the Sadhu. They follow a strict spiritual path of penance in an attempt to reach Moksha. Like colorblind? No, not colorblindness. I mean someone who can see all the colors that, that we can see. But like, let, let's just imagine that what I see is red, you see is green. And what I see is blue, you see is purple. Like, I, I don't know if that would actually work, but like, like the spectrum of colors that we see is just, is just universally shifted, like, like one, one sequence over, right? 
like you would still see all the colors you wouldn't be able to, to tell if you're colorblind or anything like that and that would be normal to you so you would just see it nor like as normal right and in reference to all the other colors they would also look different so i don't even think shades would be that different and everything would still be equally legible like th that kind of idea really fucks with me that someone might see the world completely different depending on what how they perceive colors i'm sure there is possibly a way to, to, to prove that but like with the way the brain interacts with the light cones in your eyes like like who knows um if we can do that yet but yeah it's probably just like a thought experiment more than the actual um like any actual pragmatic um effect you know for example one may stand on just one leg for decades or try to roll across the entire Indo-Chinese continent. What? One may live on a bed of nails. Another might strike his head upon a pillar thousands of times. That's what playing this game feels like, yep. There are the ascetics. They perform a thousand day circumambulation, walking 30 miles a day around steep mountains. And they chant the mantras without pausing to eat, drink, or even sleep for nine whole days. Oh, they'll be dead. It is said that the founder of Zen Buddhism, the monk Bodhidharma, sat cross-legged facing a wall without rest for nine years straight. It's been scientifically proven that people perceive colors differently, especially women. They see a broader range than men. Uh, is that true? I've heard that it is more common for women to have a mutation that gives them an extra... Is it an extra light cone or something? We I, I don't know if light cone is, is the right word for it, sorry. Like, most people have three, and some people can have four. And that's more, it's more likely that for that mutation to appear in women, but it's still not common. That That's what I've heard about that. Is, is that where everyone has four? Okay, is, is that everyone has four, but, but some, but some people have five or an extra one and it's more likely to present in women. I've heard that. But how do all these things achieve moksha? Is it because pain and penance cause your desires and thoughts to dull and disappear? That may be part of it. Or is it perhaps the state of nothingness that comes over you upon achieving these feats? One may come to the conclusion that desires themselves are illusory. Nyes has a slightly different interpretation. Do you know how a debugger finds bugs in games? Uh-oh. They try to run into walls over and over and over again. They go to places that normal players won't go. Or leave the game on for days. <laughs> they do things that normal players don't do. <laughs> Unpredictable actions that the programmers failed to anticipate. That is how bugs that weren't even considered in the planning stages are found. Does this remind you of anything? Yeah. Hitting your head on a pillar a thousand times. Sitting toward a wall for nine years. What if these actions were not anticipated by the creator? What if these actions uncovered bugs in the real world? What if they revealed the seams? In other words, these practitioners of the extraordinary are trying to find the seams. Find them and achieve enlightenment. Learn the secret of this world, the truth. And so we believe that Moksha is this journey. Honestly, that wasn't that bad. That was a interesting uh, dialogue. Bodhid Harma meditated in the direction. I feel like I've read that before. It meditated in the direction of the wall for nine years. There have been uh, idioms created about this. Since he was in the same position for so long, his limbs rotted off, which is why the Darumo dolls sold in stores look the way they look. Um, okay, so should we? We're over time. Should we? like go through the rest of the conversation here or is this a good place to end people who have played this game so the game is picking up a little bit i feel like maybe maybe i just got unlucky and 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 went a bad route first like i don't know like it maybe would have been better if we were mizuki right now because it's a it's a oh no you can't can you you have to go this because we didn't fuck fuck it never mind um i'm uh yeah this is the only route yeah never mind i was i was trying to give the game props but like maybe if we went down here instead of this way this would have been more interesting i don't know this was kind of like whatever i don't know man but like um i'm enjoying parts of it i kind of like the structure of the game i don't know i don't know where it's going i'm i'm really braced for bullshit and i wonder if that's going to make me enjoy the game more than other people that didn't know what they were in for because like the reputation in this game got very quickly amongst our community has made me um 
uh, like really on guard and I feel like I'm not getting as invested as I would and I'm just I'm just waiting for it to fall apart so like I don't know I don't know anyway that's it for me I will see you on Tuesday have a good rest of your weekend